The Sesh Podcast, episode 151, take one. Hello, pumpkin pies and frog eyes. Welcome back. <laughs> you were going to back me up there. You suck. <laughs> oh, you want me to sing? We were thinking of it. words that rhymed with pumpkin pies. Everyone Pumpkin out there with pies, beautiful thick thighs, luscious frog eyes, butterflies. Don't baptize. Don't <laughs> make sure to go clockwise. Maybe you do want to baptize. <laughs> Eat some French fries. King size, queen size, full size. Ooh. Don't be too surprised Ooh. to know that we're here with our sick thighs. Wow. (laughs) Welcome back to The Sesh. I am Kendall Ray. Welcome back. I'm Janelle. Well, today we're going to be singing. So good thing you're warming up your vocals. Yeah. (laughs) Ooh, Mariah's in the house, baby. What's your name? Janelle. And we're joined by Corelli and Sydney Ooh. and Bone Queen. Oh, yeah, she's got a good voice, too. Bone ah. Queen. That's just- <laughs> <laughs> silly making my head was Ariel. I listened, I watched Ariel this weekend. <laughs> Dude, we're going to get yelled at by the lights out crew of the recording right now. <laughs> oh, sorry. Look, guys, she's got a wig this week, a new wig. New wheat. New hair, new her. She is a so wait, okay, Bone queen. girl. Is She's she so her? well um matching today too. Check it out. She is wearing fashion her take one tee. Her, she matches the take one tee perfectly. I can't believe who found this wig. Me. And did you plan this? I did not. I didn't Amazing. even notice it until just now. Like the exact colors of our take one tee. I know. Is this still in stock? Yes, ma'am. Ooh, get yours now. And the back oh. of it's really cute. And it's not at MileHardMerch.com anymore, huh? We have <gasps> no, new shops. No, baby, it's at. What is it? <laughs> the sesh dot shop. There we go. Yeah, we have separate shops for the stores now. We just had to had to do that. It's really it's complicated, cute. but go check out our shop, the sesh dot shop. Yes. Um very it's really exciting looking. It's very cute, mm-hmm. very colorful. Sydney's put a lot of work into the it. The whole vibe. Yes. Thank and you can so. also access the other shops through that shop. Through that shop. Yeah. Oh, really? Ooh, yes. Yeah. Like all, a little portal. Yeah. Correct. It's a round hole. A wormhole. But yeah, um, all of our pieces are on there. We're working on a new piece as well. So keep your eyes peeled. It's Kendall's favorite saying. I eyes, fucking hate that. I know you do. <laughs> eyes peeled. Oh, I remember my mom used to say it to me. I want to claw my face off. You want to claw you, you peel term, your eyes off? Peeled? I just think of like, uh, uh. I think it's because your mom showed us a video <laughs> of the LASIK. That. <laughs> yeah, that and was And she had her eyes peeled literally scared the fuck out of me <sighs> y'all who have lasik out there i kind of want it i am so bothered by the fact that they literally peel part of your eye off i know oh my god i, I have a crazy eye story that happened to me last thursday you guys when i hear it yeah it was fucking terrifying so i was sitting like a little gal on my couch hanging like out okay watching tv okay and all and i was oh you know what i was watching i was watching h3 I was watching the leftovers episode. So I'm watching it and I'm reading the comments. And all of a sudden, on this like bottom portion of my left eye, I couldn't read the comments. And I was like, what the oh. heck? And I thought it was maybe like my glasses or something was foggy. So I like took my glass off. And it was like this part of my vision that was just like <gasps> blur, like very blurry. I couldn't see. And I was what? like, What? So I was like, okay, let's not freak out because I'm also a major hypochondriac and I'm very anxious all the time about my health. So I was like, it's probably just in my head. It's fine. I was just sitting there and then I was like trying to read this little um lemonade bottle that I was that I was drinking and I couldn't read that either from this one spot in my eye and I was like what the heck and then it started get growing bigger and bigger and bigger and before I knew it th- there was like this huge crescent shape on my left eye that covered my entire not my whole vision but like from the top to my bottom like the eclipse it was like an eclipse <laughs> in my fucking eye the eclipse you guys just happened by the way yeah i know i missed it wasn't paying attention well you didn't miss it, it was in your eye it was in my yeah, eye. You did not miss it. <laughs> you got the front row seat. And it looked like static electricity or like, you know, static on your TV. It looked like that in my fucking eye, though. And I couldn't see through it. So I started panicking. I told John, I was like, I, I can't see through my left eye. And even when I closed my left eye, it was still like showing up in my eye. Vision. In my vision. And it freaked the fuck out of me. I didn't know what was going on. And I was like, what do I do? It was like nine o'clock. 
I was like, do I go to the hospital? Because I really couldn't see and it was getting worse and worse and it was flashing like crazy and totally freaked me out. And then I started having like bad anxiety. I started panicking and I was like, okay, I can't have a panic attack because then I'll really screw myself. So I was just sitting there trying to breathe and I didn't know what was going on. My fucking eye couldn't see anything. And then finally, after like 20 minutes, it started moving like upwards to the top part of my vision. And then it slowly like faded off and went away. And when I looked it up, I think it was called an ocular migraine because then my head started really hurting after. And if you look up visions for an ocular migraine, it's exactly what I had. Like, and so, but it scared the crap out of me. I guess it's pretty common. So, but all is well, I can see now. That's scary. It legit scared the shit out of me though. Wow. I'm surprised you didn't text us. I was going to, but I was like, I don't know. I didn't want to be a dramatic. I'm like, guys, <laughs> my <laughs> we're all dramatic. Our texts are just a drama pylon. So see that on the very right. Oh, that's yeah. what it looked like with the colors. Wow. Um, and go down one to the left. That click on that. Like fractal. That is exactly what it looked like in my eye. What? Whoa, that's so weird. And it scared the shit out of me. Like man. you saw like a shape. Yes, yeah, so it looked exactly like that. Or like go down one right there. And when you close your eyes, you could still see it. Yep. That. Like a light burn. That too. That one is exactly like pretty much exactly it. Whoa. And yeah, it scared the crap out of me. Um, and it was moving. I, I don't know how to describe it, but anyways, Ooh. I think that's what it was because my head hurt after, and apparently it's quite common. Oh my gosh, I'm glad you're okay. Me too. <laughs> Migraines run in your family. Yeah. Fun stuff. My mom's had them forever. Mm. So whatever. Anyways, though, I'm here and I can see, and that's all that matters. Back to singing. Well, we're glad to have you. Thank you. Glad to have you all. How's everyone doing on this beautiful fall day? Dude, um, October's like halfway over. I oh. know. Isn't it weird? And Josh is trying to convince the whole company to go to a freaking haunted house. And I think I think you not. know something. I'm too scared. It was actually my idea. Oh my <sighs> God, Kendall. I really? just thought it'd be fun. <laughs> I don't know. Ew, why i don't know i've never i haven't been to one since high school and i thought it'd be fun i've never been to I, one i didn't think about how scary it'd be i was just trying to think of a fun halloween activity for us all why couldn't we go to like the pumpkin patch because that's just so lame <laughs> carve pumpkins at the office that's for holly to do we go to the pumpkin patch we need something with excitement are you guys going to do the haunted house I thought it was mandatory. <laughs> no, it's not mandatory. <laughs> of course not. I you look can really sit outside s- with Janelle. <laughs> yeah, me. We're gonna be at the bar. Um, I hate haunted houses. I'm such a fucking drag at a haunted Wait, house. So none of you are gonna do it except me. Well, I was gonna do it because Janelle was gonna do it, but, but then I chickened out. Guys, let's just hold hands and do it. They also split you up into groups, but they so would be yeah, all of us big babies. Group. No, we'll 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 make sure there's a brave soul in each group. <laughs> I don't. It'll be fine. I and think then I can do it with you. Tell people on the sesh how it was. I'll we can make a bar. segment out of it. I'll be at the bar. No, you're you gonna have to have at least FOMO. come and sit outside. Yeah, I'll be at the bar. There, there's, there's a bar, bar there. outside. I think. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's so lame, though. None of you are gonna do it. No, I'll do it if you do Sydney, it. Yeah. Okay. If I do it, you'll do it with yeah, me. Yeah, but you can't. You can't be like hugging onto Josh because I need your <laughs> no, arm. Hugging onto you. <laughs> okay. Because I'm not walking by myself. Okay. Josh can have us both under each arm. To protect uh, yeah, us. that'd be great. Yeah, have, I oh just God, I, scream so loud. I'm really, just, I'm so surprised because I know you like horror stuff, kind of, kind of. Like, don't you like American Horror Story? Yeah, I just go through it. Yeah, I love. I was just watching American like Horror Story minutes. last night. With actually, Kim K? no, not yeah. I haven't watched that one yet. Oh, I was watching old seasons. I just, uh, I just, uh, I just don't like it. I just, I, I start screaming and I get really like. You know, I get it's really I get really vulnerable. Okay, <laughs> I think you'll feel right. relieved. Like once a year, you know, oh, you don't need to get in bro. I'm in the, I'm in fright all Come on, day. Folks, you want to spoke? <laughs> <laughs> no one is forced to do it. Of course not. And you know, if if enough people really don't want to do it, I was thinking maybe we would do like a haunted corn maze. But I just thought those are lame, and those are almost more scary because you're outside. I feel like if you're in a I came okay. with a bunch of actors and props, and it's not. I did a haunted corn maze last year, the year before last. And honestly, like, it's just for me, I feel like it's a waste of money. Yeah, that's what I've heard, too. I'm like, I mean, no, just because, like, I'm not enjoying it. Right. Oh. That's what so I'm, I'm like, like I'm, I'm like, not going to have fun. I'm going to be so scared the whole time. I think you'll feel good afterwards because you're going to no, scream so loud. Really like you can good. do it. Yeah, I'm going to feel relieved. I'm, I almost feel like it's going to relieve my stress. Okay. Yeah. Good for you. Okay. I think you're thinking it's going to be like McKamey Manor or some shit. No, I know they're not going to touch me. No. 
It's it's very but the, basic. Uh, it's just like but the. They, I don't like jump scares. I hate that shit. That's honestly that's, that's my. Just close your eyes the whole time. Just refuse. To wear a eye mask. Yeah. <laughs> no, can I tell you what happened one time to me? <laughs> you don't have to do it. No one, I don't want anyone to feel pressured. No. So one time no, I did I'm a haunted start. house and sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. No, it's <laughs> okay. So I was doing haunted house with my friends, and it was like it was the. I mean, looking back at it now, it was like a mom. Like it was like a tiny little farm. Like not very scary. Like. It was not scary at all. I was clenching my eyes so hard the entire time holding on to my friend. I popped my contact out. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say you popped a blood vessel. <laughs> I think I popped one too. But no, I, my con- I, like, I lost my contact because I was like squinting so hard. Yeah. Mm. No, I feel like I'd get like hemorrhoids or something. <laughs> being hemorrhoids in your ass? Yeah. Yeah. From <laughs> squeezing. Okay. From so squeezing. Don't squeezing. I don't know. I just also like, I just hate the feeling I get like when I get scared because it's yeah. a whole body feeling. And I, I know what Janelle means. Yeah, like, exactly. Your butt gets tingly. <laughs> All right, you don't have to go. Me and Sydney will be the brave ones here. Yep. Me and we'll report back to you guys. Me and we'll hold down the fort at the bar. Okay. I'll be at Fair the bar. So, or Carly and I. I didn't realize they had a bar there. That's very convenient. They have a bar there. It's apparently like haunted as well, but I'd rather be haunted drinking tequila than haunted <laughs> walking through sober. <laughs> Thank you very I'm gonna much. I'm going to have to take a tequila shot before I even go through this. I was going to say, give me enough tequila shots and maybe I'll go through. Yeah. Okay. Give me All one right. margarita. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, well, boy. anyway, let's start out here. Let's have a little reality TV roundup. Reality TV roundup. Because Big Brother's getting pretty good. Okay, Big Brother. You guys like when we talk about Big <clears throat> yes, Brother? Yes. Big, Big bunghole. Guys, I had um, the laziest day ever yesterday. Like, I've I haven't had a Sunday like that where I just do absolutely nothing. I barely moved off the couch it's amazing. all day because Holly was sick, so she was just chilling. We were watching Miss Rachel a ton. And you normally call- I work out on Sundays, but our Peloton's broken right now. So I was like, you called my us excuse. yesterday. I'm just going to skip it. And you called us yesterday. We could hear Miss Rachel yeah. in the background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, she's on. She's on 24 7. That's like all Holly wants. Oh, yeah. We did. We tried to watch the um, new Little Mermaid, like the live action. What'd mm-hmm. you think? I just don't like the live action stuff. I can't get past the animals talking, but they look like real. Yeah. It's just. <laughs> Did angry. you watch um Sebastian was weird, Flounder was weird. I don't know. Did you watch uh, the remake of Lion King? Because that I thought that one was really weird too. That, that one was like, I did not enjoy that either. Me neither. Honestly, the only live action Disney movie I've liked was Beauty and the Beast, which I've never been a Beauty and the Beast fan, but I I, I actually like that one. But I did watch it on a plane on Xanax, so that <laughs> <laughs> could be a contributor there. I was fucked up greatly, but it was a good time. But I did like that one. Um, but yeah, I've been singing all the Little Mermaid songs all weekend to Holly. Did they like redo the music to you or is it the same music? They kind of redo it. No, it's, oh, yeah, Prince Eric. S- sorry, not it. <gasps> Cartoon oh. Eric, way hotter. I don't, oh, oh he's I'm, I'll probably get some shit. I'm sure people like is him. He, I don't even know who he is. Is he blonde? No, he's brunette. No, yeah, he's yeah. brunette. <laughs> but his hair wasn't <laughs> who right. Him? He was annoying. I don't know. But he had his own song that was not in the original and it was just a dumb song and I didn't like that. See, that I kind of tuned out annoys the crap out of me when they remake something mm-hmm. and it's not like the original I needed to and be they exactly try. Like, yeah, I needed to be the same fucking for thing. For the most what part, it was scene by scene pretty on he it. Looks, but then they gave him his own weird song. I just, mm. He looks like a baby. He looks little. I could have thought of a lot of other people that would have been much better for Under Prince the Eric. Sea. I didn't love it. Darling, it's better. But I did Darling, like, it's um, water. Take it from me. Is that right? What's her yeah. name? Kind of sexual. Oh, what is her name? <laughs> Who's uh, the actress? Hallie. Hallie. But it's Chloe ha- Hallie. No. Hallie Bailey. Bailey. I always want to say Barry. Barry. Like Hallie Barry. But <laughs> yeah, she was good. She was very good. But anyway. um, But then, yeah, I watched. I had a little reality TV night last night. I watched The Reunion of Love is Blind, which, which I want to talk about. about. Yes, there are some things to discuss there. And I also watched... Big, big brother brother it's getting the season's finally getting really juicy i'm getting it's in very it now. juicy mm-hmm. yeah i'm excited to see who will win who's who are you pulling for jag all the way same i love jag and i i do like matt i, like I know matt there's too. been some i heard he quoted uh i haven't seen the proof of this myself I haven't either. so i haven't I, either i don't know oh Agreed. of uh uh, Andrew Tate. Yeah. But I love that I the two of them have teamed up because they've yes. always been my favorites from the beginning. Yes. And now I'm just like on their bandwagon. I love Mama Felicia too. Them. I do love Mama Felicia. Um, she kind of annoyed me at the beginning, but now I like her. Me too. But I don't think she'll win. I felt so bad for her doing that superhero thing when they had kept dropping her all the way. Like, that looked so painful. <laughs> yeah. And the sound effects they had where it sounds like their knees are breaking. Oh, I know. <laughs> I really want to play Otev. That just looks so fun. I don't want to play any of these things. I would suck at everything. 
I would be the person I was thinking about it last night. If there was because sometimes they do competitions where everyone goes in one at a time and then you don't know how long it took each person to complete it. You're completely on your own. I feel like I'd be the type of person that would just go in there and just sit on the ground and be like, I'm just going to waste some time and I'm not playing this. Why wouldn't you at least just try? Because it looks painful. It looks all horrible and stressful. They have to basically this competition. They have to hang on to this bar and go across this little window and see all these fake comic strips or comic books. And then each one, there's like a big pile of them at the bottom and they have to figure out the order, the of, order of them all and then which one to use. There's two versions of each. And so they get this quick glance of it through a fucking window and they draw. And then it's like they have to figure out was the tie purple or was it yellow or, you know, I would just I can't work under pressure at all. And I'm the type I'm I'm a give up easier type of person. Mm. That's all I'm going to say. I could never be on these shows. <laughs> I'm a give up easy. Okay. Plus, I just would hate being around people 24 seven. I am way too introverted oh, to be on one yeah, of those that shows. Would suck. I would you need serious alone time. No idea of what's going on in the real world yeah. outside. Yep. They have no, no idea. idea. How yeah. long? Yeah. How long Crazy. is that? How long are they there for? Is that three months? This time it's 100 days. <gasps> Normally, it's like 90. 90. They can't yeah. bring their phones. Yeah. No, no, nope. oh, no, nothing. you can't have anything. No books, no, no TV, communication no with your nothing. loved ones for a hundred days. What? I could do that. No idea that you, world. you could, <laughs> could do that. Curly, I feel like if any of us here could do it, Curly could yeah, do it. Yeah, you no would probably do it. it. I, I don't think I would. I think I would get to like round three though, and then I would be out. I, we, yeah, I don't know. I'm like I'm a very personal person, but I don't know. I feel like sometimes people don't like me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they all really Jeez. don't like each other in there. There's a lot of fighting and stuff mm -hmm. but um yeah i don't know i don't know if i could actually do it i think in i think in a fantasy world maybe but realistically it looks fun i don't know if i could janelle i could see you absolutely doing it no, I, I would not i just want to do the competitions because it just looks fun to to play it like with if there's stuff. one person that i know that could actually be good in big brother though it's, it's your man john i know he could do it he could actually he's do it good at the skills he's got the social skills everyone loves and, a john i know and, and he's super good at just like flying under the radar. Like I yep. feel like he wouldn't have any he's smart, targets on his he's back. Strategic. See that that's he my problem. Everybody. That would be my problem. Is like I don't think I'd be strate strategic enough. And I feel like I would, I feel like I would, I would like ring alarms right on, on like yeah, get on targets wanting. on your back and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm really pulling for Jag at this point. Me too. Yeah. I love that guy. I'm just so he's grateful that Jared didn't get it to jury. Like, oh yeah, laugh Jared's out. Not oh jury. Jared's out. Good. Yeah, Jared's, Jared's out. Done, Cameron's done. Done. Cameron went to jury. Um, yeah, good, good shit. Corey and America, they're funny. Are I they get a lot still, of hate. I kind of like them though. Are they you still, don't really? Eh. Yeah, you don't eh. care. Eh. Not a fan. I like Corey. You don't like America? Not really. Oh, I don't want to be mean. Jeez. It's not that I don't like her. I'm just not like. I'm not a, a stan. Okay, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a fan. A, okay. You know. Okay. okay. There's no particular reason. She's all right. They all annoy me when they do their interviews, but yeah. I know that's just part of the gig. They play it up for the TV, for I, sure. It's really irritating. I like them more on the live feeds and stuff mm -hmm. normally when they're just chilling in their natural selves. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, Big Brother. Ooh, sounds like a lot of work. And then I watched the reunion for Love is Blind. Love is Blind. Love is pile of bullshit in that show. <laughs> That show. So Kendall's going to eh. be talking to three idiots who have never watched yes. the show. <laughs> I, I wanted to do a full little recap on it because I know tons of people watch Love is Blind. I posted about it the other night. I got tons of responses. People wanting to know my thoughts. Oh, people love this on this fucking, train like wreck best, of a show. It's like the biggest show I feel like right now. It is. It definitely is. And, you know, I love some good reality TV, like the trashier, the better, the stupider, the better, especially the love shows, even though I think they're dumb as hell. Like <laughs> it's these people have to be. I don't even know how to put it. They're just to go on a show like this. It's a certain type of person is all I'm going to say. And mm -hmm. to, to, I mean, for them to be getting married so fast, it's kind of a mockery of marriage. So it sort of annoys me, but I like being annoyed by it. So I just sit there and like kind of rip on it. You're, like, but, you're a hater. Yeah, I kind of hate watch it. Okay, that's fine. And I always it. start these seasons like at the beginning of this season. I loved all the people. I was like, great cast. This is really excited for this. Now I cannot stand any of these people really damn they're neat. they're very unhinged it was a weird season if you watched it was strange but i do like to watch these types of shows because people always ask us like how we decompress yes. from all of the 
you know, the really difficult things we talk about. And for me, it's it's dumb reality TV. 110 percent escape. I've been really into the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, the new season. I need to catch up on that. I need to really good. That. Good shit. Yeah. So I have always been a Chardonnay girly. That is the wine that I typically go to whenever I'm at a restaurant or at the liquor store. But ever since I became a member of First Leaf, I can now add Sauvignon Blanc to my list of wines that I love to drink. First Leaf knew exactly what to send me that felt familiar and delicious and also knew what would get me excited to try a new wine and broaden my palate a little bit. And I love First Leaf because they make it easy to get personalized wine delivered on my schedule right to my door. And since I choose the day my shipment comes, I never am stressing about missing a delivery. And every selection is backed by First Leaf's 100% satisfaction guarantee. And if you are like me and you like the taste of wine, but you really don't know anything about wine, this is why First Leaf is so awesome because they make the you know, stress of having to walk down the aisles and looking at a million different types of wine, they take that whole stress away and they send you things that you are really going to like because you get to take a quiz and um, it asks you questions about what kind of wines you like, what kind of food you like, what kind of flavors you like, and then it curates a selection of wines that they are confident that you will specifically like and it sends it right to your door. So you don't have to worry about walking down the aisles anymore, trying to pick a bottle just because it's pretty looking. They match award-winning bottles to my taste so I get just right wines in every shipment. In my most recent shipment, I got six different bottles. All of them are from different areas of the world, which is so cool. I got one from France, California, Australia, Portugal, and a lot of them were types of wines that I had never tried before. I'm someone who's big on the fruitiness and freshness of a wine, especially when it comes to white wine. And I was able to try this Fiano from Southeastern Australia, and it is so good. It's super refreshing and bright, and it's overall just delicious. One of my other favorites in the box is this Right Now Rosé from California. I love rosé. Again, really into the fruits, and it is so delicious. It's sweet and fruity, and it has notes of strawberry, pomegranate, and cherry. And it goes well with goat cheese, which I am obsessed with goat cheese. So overall, it's a big win for me. So give your palate what it really wants with First Leaf. Go to tryfirstleaf.com slash sesh to sign up and you'll get your first six hand curated bottles for just $44.95. And that is such a good deal. Six bottles of wine for less than $45 is a steal, you guys. You have got to try this deal out. That's T-R-Y-F-I-R-S-T-L-E-A-F dot com slash sesh. Tryfirstleaf.com slash sesh. And before we continue talking about Love is Blind, there will be spoilers. So if you're trying to watch the season or haven't finished it, just keep that in mind. But yeah, this season was trash. It was the worst season I've ever seen. And it was it got incredibly boring to the point where the last episode, Josh and I just fast forwarded. We were just run, we were like, OK, skip, skip, skip. Don't care. Boring. <laughs> it was so boring. And that's because they only ended up with two couples in the end. So if you haven't seen Love is Blind, Basically, it's a dating show where they start with 50 people from what I've read. Dang. Um, I made some little notes because I wanted to research how the back end of this show works. But and they start with a, a large group of people. Um, and the the auditioning process for this takes a really long time. Your friend was auditioning for it. Yes. Right? This is yep. one that auditioned in Denver, correct? Yeah. And she's still being considered. They haven't gotten oh. the word yet. It takes that long. But one of the upcoming seasons, which I'm guessing will probably premiere in like two years or something, Dang. is Denver. Um, yeah, they, they record this like a year and a half out. How do they keep the secret that long? I don't know. And that's what confused me too. Um, hang on. Let me, let me pull up my notes. Yeah, we have one moment. multiple documents for this now. Yeah, I need to watch this because it does look like something Janelle, I would you'd be, be really into, into it. it. Oh, you would love it. You would love it. Yeah. Next season. You guys promise me next season we watch it all together? Okay. Yeah, Absolutely. I'll watch it. All right. Definitely. All right. Does it come out all at once, right? No, it comes out in chunks. So it'll it's... release like three episodes one week and the next week. Okay. And, yeah. Something like that. Okay. As long as it's not like a once a week kind of thing. I really hate those. Like, I get it. I get it. That's how it used to be. But now that we have streaming, it's like. Oh, you want to be able to binge? I Well, yeah. But like even like two, three episodes at a time is yeah perfect right just yeah. enough to get you through the week exactly Not too overwhelming but you're staying up to date yeah so love is blind is produced by the same production company connect content that kinetic oh thank you kinetic content kinetic. they also produce married at first sight Have that's you ever another heard of that big show? one yes i've heard yeah. of that one too. that one that one is so shitty i hate that show oh really i've seen so many seasons of it but it's I, not good ugh, no they have all these pastors on it that are like trying to match them up and sometimes they get really 
pastor. They give him weird. Yeah, there's like a pastor and. <laughs> It's Why weird. is there a pastor? It's on weird. He's, I don't remember Pastor Cal. I think, and he like comes and gives him advice. And sometimes his advice is very like, Pastor Cal, what the fuck? It's a little <laughs> Pastor Cal, you're a little so old school. Hell. It's a little like traditional. Okay, and I don't for know. a non-traditional show. Yeah, it's just I kind of got burnt out on that show. That's why I like, Love like is blind. Is it supposed to be like like arranged marriage kind of thing? Like, yeah, those yes. like those kind of tradition. Yep they they match them up and then they meet at the altar. But this is different because they bring all these people like fifty people into these pods. So they have like two uh, living quarter areas, okay. and then there's a hallway with all these pods. And these pods are like really intense. They're super high and they're completely soundproof so you can scream inside the pods and the person wouldn't even be able to hear you they're so soundproof that they have a speaker that they communicate to the other person with so they make it look like they're speaking through a wall but they're speaking through a speaker so does every single person have their own pods yes so every well, yes yes you have your pod that you go into so you have an arranged date so someone's on the other side can you pull up a picture of the pod so Janelle can yeah. see? So let me get this. So there's like two like quote unquote houses that people live in. And then it'll be like Janelle and John are going into their pod. Yeah. And their their date is tomorrow at 8 p.m. Yes. Well, hit, they show them pod. all like standing outside at the same time. Then they're like, they have these clips of them all walking into their pods at the same time. Oh, so they're, the pods are all next to each other. You see this? Okay. Yeah. 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 It's a pretty elaborate, wow. expensive setup yeah, that say, they've put kind of into impressive. this. And, and that's what's yeah. interesting is they try to make it look like they're in the living quarters and that's where they they live but they don't <laughs> i found out that they actually keep people in trailers um let me see specifically yeah. here's a quote from kenny barnes i don't remember him he was from an older season but we sleep in trailers and they were correctional facility beds oh. the design was to strip us down from our comfort level isn't that the idea with all reality tv is to like make you mentally weak so you act crazy on tv i think so like I that's what so. the bachelor does and i do think they go a little low-key crazy because mm -hmm. when you're in this reality when everyone else is possibly getting married to someone yeah. that they just met i mean they're in these pods for up to 10 days sometimes people get engaged earlier but in what reality would you ever do that right it's i think your thinking gets kind of swayed when sure. this this is just everyone around you is doing this it becomes normal and it's like that black the mirror The only person episode. you can talk to. They take their phones. They have, you know, nothing. So anyway, they talk in these pods. They normally, they, you know, they file through everybody in the last like 15 minutes. But when the sparks start flying, they say they can range around three to four hours for these dates. And during the dates, you can Wait, really quick. Things. Are people dating different people or is it like you're paired and that's it? You're dating all the different okay, people, but it. then you narrow it down. So if you're got like, it, I don't know, it, it's it. kind of like speed dating. Okay. So if you don't want to see anyone anymore, you don't have to. And okay. then sometimes they have like two or three that they're really leaning towards and they'll end things when they think it's getting more serious with one. And oh, okay. Got mm -hmm. it. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they fall asleep in the pods. Like you can be in there as long as you want. And then you can request things. Like if you want to paint on your date, they'll set up a little painting thing or oh, like you okay. request the quote was lasagna they'll get you lasagna can they do or like Skype do sex? sushi no mm -hmm. they you can't see each other that's the whole can't, point like, talk Love dirty. is blind can't no. like phone sex um i'm sure you can maybe netflix they said they encourage them to be creative i'm sure they i'm sure okay but i'm not sure because they don't show any of that but mm -hmm. it's very cleaned up for netflix ah. um so yeah the show is filmed a year or two in advance and they they whittle down the cast hugely from the original 40 to 50 people that it starts with. And then what's interesting is there are some people that go through the show all the way to the end and then they'll cut their entire parts out. And so there's a lot of relationships that we don't even see. And that's been a big drama this season is apparently four couples were cut out of the show completely, which we'll get more into that. Um, but yeah, people always say that the show's scripted. According to Chris Colon, who is That's the an producer. unfortunate last name. I know. I'm so Colin. sorry, Mr. Colon. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, he says the um, the conversations are spontaneous and organic and that there's no scripts involved. So okay. they don't like force them to say anything, which, you know, whatever, right. whether you believe that or not. But yes, this is interesting. They, he was asked, Chris Colon, if they are able to share their relationship status before the show airs, because obviously... You know, it's filmed a year and a half in advance. That's a long time for people to not 
share anything online. Right. And I think that's always been the suspicion. I think that's how it is with Bachelor and Bachelorette is you're not allowed to share any details like you have signed an NDA yeah, or something. Yeah, well, you go into hiding after, but it's only like a few months yeah. after the show stops filming and then after the show's done airing. So you're only yeah. in hiding for like four months, not years. Maybe that's why, because he told the LA Times that there isn't a mandate in place prohibiting them from posting their relationship update or singleton status, whatever the fuck that means. However, they are suggested to hold off from sharing clues. Okay. This was interesting, though. They do fine them $50,000 if you leave without approval from producers. Leave the show? Yeah. They Unless fine they, you? Yeah. 50 grand. Isn't that like illegal? I think it's, they sign stuff. That's dang. Just, that's just what I, I read. Oh, and this is interesting, too, for people who watch the show. The show is really famous for these cups. They have like metal cups for everything, all their wine, water, tea, anything okay. they drink. And even when they're out of the pods at the homes, they're drinking at the restaurants everywhere. And I always thought it was something to do with like they can't show alcohol on TV or sure, something, but yeah. I know they can. Yeah. But it's actually, I thought this was so interesting. And so editors can splice down hours worth of content. Oh. And you can't see their glasses change if they're refilled or if they drink a ton right. of it or, you know. That makes sense. Huh. Just a little anecdote that I thought was kind of interesting, interesting from an editing pr perspective. No, it makes a ton of sense why you would do that. Yeah. You on the ultimatum, they do that too. Yeah, the ultimatum is produced by the same. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I was it's wondering all, that though because I was watching that the other day. Yeah, that that show is interesting too. Yeah, <laughs> last season was kind of I don't know. Um, but yeah, they they get to actually propose. They are legally getting married. They get marriage certificates. It's a legally binding marriage, which is insane. Before to me. they even meet. No, just once they have them go apply for it and they film the whole thing. Oh, okay. They okay, like okay. show their little certificates, but. The rings are supplied supplied by the show, which I've always been curious about because I'm like, where do these dudes just get these rings from? And That's how, how they like, know what the to pick shows for. Are. Foster does yes. the same shit. They give you the Neil Lane. Yes. Neil special. Lane. Mm -hmm. On this show, you're given a choice of 10 to 12 different styles and colors and people get a pick out of that. Or you can bring one from home. I remember some dude brought like his grandma's ring. Gotcha. If, if my kid <laughs> was bringing a family heirloom to a show like that, I was like, listen, I'm going to give it away to this chick behind the wall. <laughs> be like bro no you're not let's let's take a pump the brakes on that oh my um, God. but the show has a decent success rate for married couples they there have been 20 couples total and seven of them are still together that's extremely good i feel like yeah i mean it's it's an f like but like well for, for tv yeah, yeah compared to other dating shows like mm -hmm. bachelor is the terrible yeah it's really bad they have like five people maybe and that shit's been going on for like 20 years so maybe the theory I mean, in theory, it's it's kind of good. I always I always say though, I wish Love Is Blind had even more diversity in people's looks and body types, and I still feel like pretty much everyone on there is fairly attractive. Of course, you know, like it's right. still TV, right? And right. There's never anything that's like shocking or, um, I don't know. Wait, so how did when do they meet in person though? So they propose behind the wall. They literally get dressed up and they, they both know it's coming because normally the girl's in a dress and they get down on one knee in the pod and they propose to a wall through a speaker. And then they go separate ways. They all like celebrate in their little things. All the girls are excited, whatever. And then they get to see each other in person. So they open up this big hallway and the doors open. They see each other and they like run towards each other. What if you're like, Sometimes oh my God, that person's so ugly. Like I'm not oh, attracted it happens. to them. It happens. They People don't say it, but you can tell this season I don't know if you've seen any jokes about it, but there was this guy named JP. And uh, I got a lot of thoughts on JP, but he, this dude wears American flags every fucking day. Like Ooh, that's his see, whole wardrobe. He that's what? Not, his that's, swimsuit, his, yes, that's JP. That's not it for me. Somewhere. Everything this dude owns, he has American and flag And I'm just stuff. really not into American flag apparel. It's not for yeah, me. Yeah, I'm just not, I'm not into it either. And like at that extent, I mean, it's, all he wears no that's not it so what happened with him and his girl is she was really sweet her name was taylor and when once they saw each other in person you could tell he was not into her and it, things just got so awkward and they were filming them in their little hotel room because then they go on a honeymoon yeah and she's just sitting there and he's so he's just like mm, mm -hmm, mm. she's like Are you, do you want to talk do you have anything to say to me and he was just so weird. He was just clearly not into it. There's like, they're filming them in the hot tub and it's, it's he's just like. Oh my 
God. So then he sits her down and he tells her it's because she wears too much makeup. <laughs> and I think he thought this was going to go really well with the audience. Like, oh, this guy. Right. He, he just, just wants a natural girl. Yes. Yeah, just doesn't. Oh, I'm she sure doesn't need ripped. makeup. I think she he thought she was going to be like, oh, that's nice. And in my head, I'm kind of thinking maybe he just came up with that as an excuse because he doesn't want to be like, well, I'm just straight up not attracted yeah, to her. So yeah, let yeah. me come up with this story of. Right. You know, I don't like girls that wear makeup or whatever. But yeah, he they they ended. They didn't even make it past the honeymoon because she she was like, OK, I'm going to go sleep somewhere else. And then in the morning she dumped his ass. But they were already married at that point. No, they're so they're engaged. They uh, go to Mexico, to have the which I guess is not a honeymoon. It's it's, just, it's um, like a engagement celebration. OK, but then they go live in real life with each other. And they oh. document that at their they go to each other's apartments. Oh, they see okay, how okay, each other okay, lives. See, they meet the families and then. They go to the altar. They bring all their friends and family. They have to pick 12 to 15 guests okay. to come to this wedding. They are elaborate. They're flowers, beautiful. Like their dresses are extravagant. They get all the way up there and then they might just say no, which I always think about what a waste all that crap is. And then if I was a guest, I'd be so annoyed knowing that I spent my time coming to this stupid no, wedding seriously? and you knew you were going to say no up there this entire time. So that yeah, is it's always so a, annoying. You, that's like the big lead up at the end is Dang. the wedding. So that's okay. one thing that I remember now about this show is I will only like I'll watch like the first couple episodes of like them in the pods because I watched I think season one and season two, um, like when they first aired. Like they can I think they aired in twenty twenty. Yeah. So I watched the first episode or the first season. Watched the first couple episodes. Waited until the very end because I hate the I hate the fluff in the middle. Like I don't I don't care what they I do agree. in Mexico. Like, I, I don't care any about that. I always fast forward through that. <laughs> I always watch the very end, like when they're at the altar because it's so juicy. Oh, it's, it's like, juicy. you're right. People like the entire, or not entire, but like all their close family yeah, friends are out. Their dad's walking them down the aisle. Literally, oh, like, God, and then for them to say no. Yeah, it's, Janelle, you would like this. I know, I'm so surprised okay. you haven't started watching this show. I should start watching it. Okay. You should just maybe watch this last season, although it was shitty, but... Definitely not. Maybe not watch this last one. Maybe watch, go back and watch. Yeah, the I was gonna ones. say I want to watch. I would watch one. the first one. I think the first one was pretty good. I remember the first one being really good. But then I what happened with the other couple that everyone thought was going to really work out? They were following them throughout the pods. Is there was a girl who was in the house who had already previously dated one of the guys, and they didn't tell okay. you throughout the whole show until like halfway through. They revealed that they once they got in the pods that they, they recognized each, other. each other's voices, and they were like, "Holy shit." But there's a lot of drama with that because they are being accused of going on the show purposely together. And the other girl came on the reunion last night and was like, you guys totally. Oh, shit. And he the whole time had been accusing this girl, Lydia Uche is his name, of like reading his email, saying that he was going to go on the show and, and deciding she wanted to follow him there and that she's obsessed with him. She stalks him. She's driven by his house. She watches she goes to his friends instagram stories and watches their stories and his friends have told him and so what there's a whole drama so anyway those two girls become best friends in the house and the whole time this girl's coaching her like you don't what want a guy that, like yeah. that or giving her advice on stuff and she has no idea that she actually dated that guy and slept with him like three months before the show Shit. and she wasn't allowed to tell her so it becomes this big drama and the girl leaves over it, which I'm wondering if she got that $50,000 fine unless the producers approved her leaving. But they acted like it was a shocking thing. They had him call her and she's like, I couldn't do it. And what was her name? Dang. Uh, Alicia. Uh, Aaliyah. Oh, OK. And then the two of them, Uche and Aaliyah, afterwards, they had them meet up at like a little cafe and he basically says like, this isn't going to work out because you gave up so easily whatever but then now he's posting this week on his instagram story that netflix actually just put that in as a soundbite and if you look at the way it's edited when he says this isn't going to work out with us or whatever i don't remember exactly what he says it the camera's on her and it does kind of sound out of the conversation oh my god because they claim that they actually did continue dating after that point but they made it look like they had this breakup at this restaurant and that was it but he's saying it's not true. And then on the reunion last night, they confirmed that they did date for a few weeks afterwards. It didn't work out with them. And now the entire cast hates this guy. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. Jesus, this is fucking crazy. Yeah, there's some drama. There's some Drammers. drama. Okay, so hit us with 
the Renee and Carter. Then. Okay, so this is this is I'm a little confused. There were two people on the show, Renee and Carter, and they okay they from what we're trying to understand because none of this was played out on the show, so we're just trying to pull it all together. Let's just start with this girl on TikTok that her whole account is about Love Is Blind. Yeah. And she reports on it. Let's just let's just hear it from her, okay? There's been several couples that are cut, which I guess is pretty standard. But this is interesting, Renee and Carter, because they got all the way to the altar and they cut the whole thing out. So they were normally they do these bachelor and bachelorette's parties. None of that was in the show because they couldn't splice the two of them out of it completely. And there's some reason why they must have wanted to cut them. Right. And that's why everyone's stirring around here because. Obviously, this is the type of juicy shit that Netflix wants right. because apparently he brought other girls to the apartment. Right. And oh. why did they cut their whole thing out? Like, and no one what, knows why. It's no cut. one knows. Netflix. But they might they might be sharing. I have heard rumors that he doesn't. Well, let's listen to this girl. Okay. She knows best. Yeah. She, there's two videos, so she may she'll explain it all. OK. OK, guys. So apparently four or more other couples got engaged this season on Love is Blind and we just didn't see it. And it gets worse because apparently this couple, Renee and Carter, not only got engaged, not only went to Mexico, but moved in with each other, did the whole experiment, made it down the aisle, and their story was completely cut. Which is really bizarre considering we only got two weddings this season when there were in fact three, allegedly. We're commenting That's what on made this show suck so bad is it was just two people that they're following. Normally right. it's four at least. So they were showing all these dumb conversations with their parents and like just stuff that's like... Boring. The whole Not juicy. season? Yeah, pretty much. Because it was like two people from episode five or six or something. So the whole rest of it was just the, these two couples who didn't have much going on wasn't very interesting. That's annoying. Yeah, it got boring. So why did they make it boring? What is the tea? What happened here? It's Wait, I'm confused because they're still, their images are still like promotion, like they're on the cast. So you saw them in the yes, very beginning were, and then just... Yep. And I actually liked that guy. I mean, I saw like few clips of him, liked him, but he, I thought he was like kind of interesting. Okay. But yeah, you see Rob them in the beginning Aisha's dating live other people. Last night saying that Renee and Carter were actually married. However, that's not true. Cause you can see here that Renee and Carter actually did file for a marriage license, but it was not returned, meaning they did not get married. However, Renee is currently married, but not to Carter. So you can see here that this was filed in May of 2022 and not returned, meaning they didn't get married. But in March of 23, she was married. So she married someone else. 10 months really after walking really down the aisle and saying no to somebody, she got married to somebody else. Now, you might be wondering, like, well, why didn't we see their story? Why didn't Netflix cut them? Word on the street. And this is just a rumor. So do what you will with this information. Word on the street is that, that the guy that Renee is currently married to was her boyfriend during filming and production found out and cut them okay. out of everything. But if you, pause this. Why would you? Wouldn't that she be really good? Out, this girl actually reached out to Renee for a statement in a later TikTok. And she said that that is not true. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I think the, I mean, we'll find out. Let's just keep playing these. I'm wondering why Mexico was so short. It's because they had a lot more group interactions that they had to cut. And the yeah. beach scene was the only one that they could seamlessly cut Renee and Carter out of. Which is so weird that Renee was in Mexico. Here she is with her little golden cup. I think she wants people to know she was in Mexico because she's been posting about this on her Instagram all day. So I found out some more information about this in my original video. I let you guys know that my source told me that Renee allegedly had a boyfriend during filming that she is currently married to. However, that is not the only reason that their story got cut. Allegedly, Carter played a huge role in why their story got cut as well. I posted my video yesterday. You guys flooded my comments with a lot of allegations, so I looked into a few of them. And here's what I know. Allegedly, Carter was threatening production. If they showed his story, there were going to be some consequences. You guys also commented that allegedly he brought a girl to the shared apartment during filming. Allegedly, that is true as well. There were a bunch of other allegations made that I'm not going to comment on because they're super serious and nobody was able to provide valid receipts. But I did reach out to Renee regarding her role and why their storyline was cut. And here's what she had to say. She said that she was, and I quote, completely single and committed to Carter during the entire process. She said that even he will vouch for that and that the rumor that she had a boyfriend during filming is silly. 
She said what she experienced with Carter was far worse than a girl in the apartment and threats. She said that she's going to be releasing her side of the story very, very soon. I did ask her to comment on when she actually met her current husband and she refused to. She also said that it makes her very sad for people to think that she could have any to anything to do with their story being cut after everything she went through. I did ask her that if things were so bad with Carter, because the allegations against him are super bad, if you want to hear what some of those are, just go to the comments on my last video. I asked her if they were so bad, how on earth her and Carter made it so far in the process? Like they made it to the altar where she said no, and she did not comment on that. I do think that two things can be true at once. Like I do think that both of them played a role in why their story was cut. Because my source said that story was cut because of both of them, because of Carter's threats and his actions and because of Renee's alleged relationship, because mm. production was moving forward with the story until they found out about Renee's wedding mar in March of this year, allegedly. So I'm sure both of them are going to be re releasing their full side of what happened very, yeah, very soon. I think that's going to come out soon. Like Carter it's kind of interesting, though, thinking, you know, why... Did they cut this? It must have been really bad. Yeah. And I don't know what the allegations are him exact with him exactly. I don't want to bring up things that are being said in TikTok comments like right. she mentioned because I don't know. But um, she said that he brought another girl to the apartment. But she said that's that's like the least of it. So I'm sure she's going to be coming forward with hers because she posted like pictures of her. If you scroll down um, in her wedding dress. Yeah, I saw you. that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then these are the other two girls that yep. made it to the altar. So they're all together and they just cut her out of everything, which would be so crazy That's and annoying after all that time. Well, and it sounds like it would have made good TV. Yeah, it would have made good TV, it sounds like. But I don't know. Apparently things are much worse. So that's interesting. And there were, like she mentioned, there were other couples as well. We don't need to spend time on that. But yeah, people's stories get cut all the time. Mm. But it's very, very peculiar because this, this season really sucked. Great. And it's like, why do they do that? When's why? the next one come out? I don't know. Mm. See. Yeah, see if you can look it up. I'm curious. Because you said there's two seasons a year, roughly. I think so. I don't really remember. It they, must be because there have been five so far, and I know it hasn't been five years. Do they have spinoffs? Yes, there's the Ultimatum, which I told you about. Oh, that's oh that's, okay. They, not like a, with the same people. Oh, okay, okay. But yeah, it's like producers, same Nick Lachey and yeah Vanessa. Just, which they really annoy me, but that's besides the point. So it hasn't officially been announced. Um, okay. About a six season, but it's most likely going to. But Denver is going to be filmed soon, which they really don't make a big deal of where they where, are. Sure. It's not really ever said. Okay. Very much. But yeah, one of my friends might, I'm hoping, might be on the show. But they were looking for, I heard from her that they're looking for like really juicy lives. Of course. You know? Of course. They're like, what her trauma do you boring, have what? that we can exploit? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so that brings us to why we're talking about all this today. There is a lawsuit going on. Love is Blind contestant Tran Dang. She is suing Netflix, the show, the production team, kinet Kinetic Content, Kinetic, and Delirium TV for sexual assault, false imprisonment, and negligence. So this lawsuit was actually filed last year, August of 2022. It's just made the headlines in the last week. And Tran Dang, which I didn't see her. I don't think she was even part of the show. She, they said she was one of the couples on season five. I don't ever remember, unless I'm forgetting. They were never shown in any of I the episodes. I don't think But they think got so. engaged? See, yeah. this is weird to me. Why are they cutting they certain cut people out? the whole stories out. And maybe it's because they got skeletons in the closet when it comes to I think so. This. So they're like, oh, they had to take it out. For like they're reason. trying to protect themselves. Could be. Um, so her former fiance is Thomas Smith. They were one of the couples in season five to yeah. get engaged during the season, but were never shown in any of the episodes. And in the lawsuit, Tran alleges that she was sexually assaulted by Thomas on May 3rd, 2022, during the Mexico getaway vacation trip that was supposed to air on season five, which puts it all into perspective because this Mexico trip is always a big, there's many different scenes and all types of stuff going on. They bring everyone together and there's drinks and there's, it, it was so short. It was mostly just them in their rooms looking at each other because it was so awkward. So um, that makes me think that this really did happen then. I and, think so. And the production crew was like, you know, trying to I think they were in like crisis yeah. mode for this season. And that's why they were like, let's just put out anything we can. Exactly. Even if it sucks. Yeah. Um. So 
As stated in the suit, she alleges that Thomas forcefully groped her, exposed himself naked, then repeatedly made sexual contact without her consent. And it's also stated in the suit in a direct quote, because of the production company's kinetic content, (laughs) that's hard for me to say for some reason, and Delirium TV, 24-hour surveillance of the cast members, most if not all of these traumatic acts were likely captured on film. Tran allegedly reported the incident, but according to the suit, an assistant producer who gaslighted her, implying that she was at fault for what happened with Thomas Smith by not communicating effectively or somehow not taking the relationship seriously. Mm -hmm. She also claimed that when she was in the in Houston, she was unable to go anywhere freely and was continuously monitored. Very strange. After multiple alleged attempts of informing her producers about what she was going through, Tran decided to quit the show, but claims that she was told she had to film a scene where she was fed lines from producers. So there you go with the not scripted bit. How much you want to believe that? Right. So Kinetic Content and Delirium TV denied the claims in a statement after the lawsuit came out. They say, we support and stand with victims of sexual assault, but Miss Dang's claims against the producers are meritless. We document the independent choices of adults who volunteer to participate in a social experiment. Their journey is not scripted and nor is it filmed around the clock. We have no knowledge or control over what occurs in private living spaces when not filming and participants may choose to end their journey at any time. We take any and all concerns of our participants seriously and prioritize their well-being. Obviously, we cannot address undisclosed concerns. And throughout the time that Miss Dang was involved in the production of Love is Blind, she never informed producers of any alleged wrongdoing of any kind, nor did she choose to end her participation in the experiment. Instead, Miss Dang continued in the experiment for weeks after the time her lawyers now claim the incident occurred. Hmm. We deny and will vigorously defend the allegations against us. The show's creator and CEO of Kinetic Content, Chris Colon, oh, Colin. Mr. Colon, <laughs> denied this claim and said that they are not filming 24 hours a day. Um, they are living their lives. He says they have plenty of moments where they're not being documented. We don't mount cameras in the bedrooms or bathrooms, which is interesting. They don't, but in the ultimatum, they do. And I think I think that is so weird in the bathrooms not the bathrooms but the bedrooms like there's night vision yeah of them in the beds yeah that is the weirdest every time i see that on a show like this That's how big brother is big brother is literally filmed 24 7 except for yeah. when that one room with the toilet hey i mean that's the premise of the show true. right but like on these dating shows it's right like, no that's true they those you can hear things you can see things moving under the oh, covers yeah. it's like mm. okay it feels so weird watching that kind of stuff oh, too yeah. every time it happens i'm like I know. I just cringe. I know. I should not be seeing this moment. No, I agree. But yeah, they say they don't have any of those cameras, which they I don't think they do on Love is Blind. I can't recall a scene of someone in their bed or anything like that. They do. They do have scenes where it's like the shower and you can see them in the shower, but it's like cut off or like filmed from an angle where you just see their heads, but it's like steamy and you know what's happening. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine being like... Do you think you say like, okay, so we're about to hook up. Can you guys leave or what order? If, they're like, can we just get the foreplay on camera? Yeah, what if you like? <laughs> I think that's so strange. <laughs> they're like, okay, hold on, just let me be in here for another two yeah. minutes. Let us. We'll text you when we're ready for the cameras yeah. to come back. It's so weird. Burn. He, Colin says, as a true believer in these real relationships, I want them to know what it's like to be with their partner. He also said there's multiple couples who got engaged who are not followed. Mm-hmm. Um, each season, there are lots of stories that we don't tell, regardless of whether couples get engaged or not. Some of them, even we fall around a little bit and not show their story on the show. It's a bit of a judgment call. And he, there was another quote, too, I was reading last night where he said that the first season, they did not expect to have so many couples that they didn't have the budget to oh. film them all. OK. So they have to narrow it down, even though they film multiple people. It's just, the whole thing is so that strange. Is really weird. Colin says, when <laughs> <laughs> while I'm incredibly empathetic and understanding that sometimes it's difficult for people to speak up about those issues. If no one comes forward to inform us of a concern or claim, there's literally nothing we can do about it, he adds. I urge people, whether it's on our show or any show, or frankly in life, if you are in an uncomfortable situation, if you are in a situation where you feel unsafe or where you feel something has happened in a line 
with what's alleged in this suit, you should lean on the support system and speak up. Well, it seems like that's what she's doing. Yeah. But I don't know. We don't know. I don't know anything about the story or if it's true or... I just wonder, because they're making the argument like these things are caught on camera. Mm -hmm. But if they're saying, no, there's no cameras in the bedroom, like, are they... I know that's very like, conflicting. Right. Uh, so is there proof of that? Because if there is somehow proof that like, no, they were being filmed, whether even they knew it or not, that yeah. could be a huge fucking problem. Yeah. I mean, I think there are some problems here. What exactly is going to happen with this? We don't know. Because um, the lawsuit. Yeah. Uh, isn't they're not even dealing with that whole thing until next year, right? No, yeah, not February. February 19th. Mm -hmm. um, so. We'll see, but this is not the first lawsuit actually for Love is Blind. In 2022, Jeremy Hartwell, which I don't remember him. I I just watched some of these stupid shows. Name I ever. I really tried this season though. I like basically okay. flashcarded myself. Like I <laughs> constantly made myself. The fact that you know people's names on Big Brother, I'm like shocked. I really have been trying. Like, oh, the one guy with the brown hair. Well, I'm trying to get better at it because it's a skill in life too to remember people's <laughs> names. Like, and I feel bad because I'm just so bad oh, with same. names. I'm, and that's dude, it's like not an excuse. It's like disrespectful to not know someone's no, name. So I'm practicing on reality TV. <laughs> <laughs> um, <sighs> Jeremy Hartwell. Don't remember him. That's the thing is after these shows pass, I, I dump these people from my brain. Like, okay. I'm not going to store their names up here. Sure, and remember sure, sure. who they are. I understand that. Anyway, this guy was on season two. And he filed a lawsuit against Netflix and the producers. In his lawsuit, he claimed that they violated a slew of labor law violations, including inhumane working conditions and paying cast members less than minimum wage, which I have heard stories of people, which not even on this show, but other shows as well, where they lose their jobs or they have to quit their jobs to go on the show. And then they're making just like asinine money That's for crazy. insane hours. I know, I guess like the, the real prize these days, and I think for a lot of people, it's not just to find love. It's, no, to, it's to go on TV and get social media yeah. fame. Like so many people yeah. build careers off of oh, it. Oh, yeah. How many Big Brother cast members Absolutely. now have their own brands? Mm -hmm. and Bachelor, uh, Bachelor and Bachelorette. That's a huge. People go on yeah. there and launch their whole social media career. Yeah. Jessica Nixon. She's got a whole from Big Brother. Yeah. She's got a whole brand now. Yep. Tons of people do. Anyway. He alleges that the producers supplied the cast with abundance of alcohol and deprived them of food and water. I have heard this on multiple shows. I've heard it on The Bachelor and Bachelorette. They yep. they don't force you to drink, but if you want liquor, it there is plenty of it at mm -hmm. your fingertips. And I've heard there's a lot of pressure, like so like underlying pressure. Sure. And that um, they also, I know with Bachelor and Bachelorette, they film till like ungodly hours. They film till like five in the morning. A lot of the times they're doing the rose ceremony and the sun's coming up. So they're sleep deprived. They haven't slept in forever. They're drunk. So you're just delirious. Right. And which you're makes already, for good TV. And emotions are already high because of the nature of what you're doing. Yep. Yep. So yeah, it makes for good TV. Mm -hmm. there, there's a recipe these producers use. Mm-hmm. Jeremy claimed that he spent several days recovering from the effects of sleep deprivation, access to food and water, and copious amounts of alcohol that he was provided. Um, kinetic Content said Mr. Hartwell's involvement in season two of Love is Blind lasted less than one week. Unfortunately, Mr. Hartwell, uh, for Mr. Hartwell, his journey ended after he failed to develop a significant connection with any other participant. Ah, that's why I don't remember him. <laughs> um, that's kind of interesting. I wonder if he... Mm, no, it sounds like he they just kicked him off. Yeah, I was I'm gonna sure say, did he could. leave and get one of those fines? But no, no, it I'm sure they like, like you're boring. Get off. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, sorry, it sounds like what he's saying. According oh, to the shit. lawsuit, contest contestants should have been classified under California state law as employees rather than independent contractors because producers um, dictated the timing, manner, and mm. means of their work. Contestants were paid a flat fee of a thousand dollars a week. Flat rate. Flat rate. Thank you. Yes. Despite, Despite working yeah. 20 hours per day. So what's seven the math days on a week. that? That seven. is 140 hours a week. Oh, she's fast with it today. Thank you. That's like, a lot of hours. So what does that come down to? $1,000 divided by... 140. Let's, let's see you, math queen. <clears throat> I need my calculator. 1,000 divided by 140. 
$7.14. It was literally my next line in here. Thank you, Sydney. (laughs) 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 Sydney already put it out. That look that works out to $7.14 per hour. Uh, under well under the minimum wage in Los Angeles County, which is fifteen dollars per hour. I think it might have even raised by now, but I don't know. Maybe not. I could be wrong. It's at yeah. Is it? 15? I think uh, LA is like. I thought it was fifth. Well, whatever. Either way, it's less than half. So his lawsuit seeks unpaid wages, financial compensation for missed meal breaks and rest periods, plus unspecified monetary damages for the unfair business practices and civil pen- penalties for labor code violations. And Kinetic Content responded to the lawsuit and said there is absolutely no merit to the claims. So we'll have to see how that that all shakes out. I'm sure these production companies, I mean, they get shady. Also, if you work overtime, you should be getting paid time and a half. Yeah. uh, If you're not salary. It's Mm -hmm. uh, $15.50 in Los Angeles. Okay. Yeah. So right over $15. And then to think like the hours that they're not working, they're sleeping on the in these trailers on uh, what are they called? The... um, there's in prison beds. Prison yes, beds. prison beds. Yeah, which is, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think you should be a contractor because even though you're not filming, you're still working. Yeah. No, they're not contractors. No, I'm saying that I think they, I, I think that they should be getting paid overtime. Like when they're not, like if even if they're not, you know, filming during that time, they're still working yeah Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like being held there you can't go home exactly you can't go home right yeah i agree with you it's like 24 hours a day on call basically yep yep i mean yeah pretty much so yeah interesting stuff uh let us know what you guys think of these lawsuits and if you watched the last season of love is blind let us know your thoughts pretty shitty love's blind and yeah in the end well i guess i shouldn't spoil it for people that who might want to go watch the reunion last night was pretty you said it was pretty juicy. It was. It was pretty juicy. I love a good reunion. There, You know, I will say there's one person that I personally really like on this show out of all of them because everyone else I pretty much not into at all. Um, some of the guys are okay. But this guy, Milton, everyone says he is, look up Milton. Tell me he is not a cross between Lionel Richie and Steve Harvey. If they had a baby, it is Milton. And he's funny. And smart. I actually really like him. And he's super tall. He's like insanely yeah, tall. I he's see like Lionel s- Richie. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> right? see Lionel. You see it? I don't really see Steve. His girl is pretty wild though, man. Really? Yeah, Lydia. She was the one who was stalking the other guy. And like uh-huh. they, you know, there's all that. So, but they're still together. Or I shouldn't be spoiling. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. The season's over now. Anyway. Yeah, I need to go back and watch an older season. Because now yeah. I'm curious of what the hell this show's about. You and should. I think I would like it. I will Maybe look I'll at the seasons and tell you which one I think. Okay. Mm-hmm. But Curly's saying I should just go watch season one. I liked, I really liked season, season one. Season one was very good. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's a couple from that, Lauren and... Don't remember mm-hmm. any of their names. They're still together and they're very cute. I think they should be the hosts of the show. I think Nick and Vanessa need to step aside. They're annoying. Vanessa's always pressuring them all to have babies. She's like, when are you going to have a love is blind baby? And it's just... It's like Ew, it's the last reunion. She was going on and on about it. It was so annoying. Remember last time it was live and there was the whole drama because yes. it didn't work. Yes. They didn't do it live this time. Yeah. What <laughs> was, I forgot that. Yeah. Everyone was like, it's not working. It was a big drums. Anyway. Fail. Enough talking about that. Lately, we have been so busy here in our office. The day just flies by, especially with our documentary in progress. We are (laughs) working on that any spare time that we have. And it makes fitting in a healthy lunch pretty difficult. And it's pretty easy to grab something unhealthy in the moment when it's, you know, there's mac and cheese in our cabinet. There's ramen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chips. I need to stop eating Cheetos for lunch. Yeah, you you really do. (laughs) One thing that has helped Janelle and I eat healthier lately at the office is Factor. It's amazing, you guys. We love Factor. These meals are so, so good. They don't even taste healthy. You know, when you, I mean, they, they are, wholesome but they, they taste fresh. wholesome, but they don't taste right. Like you're like trying to be yes, healthy when like you're bored. They're, they're good. Yes. They're yummy. They're very is what flavorful. I'm trying to say. They're super easy to cook and they have a ton of variety. They have over 35 weekly flavor packed, fresh, never frozen meals to promote a healthy lifestyle. Whether you're at home, or, you know, out of office. It's so easy to just grab them, stick them in the fridge in your office and pop them in the microwave and you're good to go. 
You guys know how much we love HelloFresh. HelloFresh owns Factor, so it's the same quality, the same consistency, the same deliciousness. If you're too busy running around during the day to think about lunch, keep your energy up with Lunch To Go, effortless wholesome meals like grain bowls and salad toppers that are ready to eat when you're on the go, and no microwave required. With Factor, you can rest assured you're making a sustainable choice. They offset 100% of their delivery emissions and source 100% renewable electricity for their production sites and offices. This October, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered right to your door, ready in just two minutes, no prep, no mess. Head to factormeals.com slash sesh50 and use code sesh50 to get 50% off. That's code sesh50 at factormeals.com slash sesh50 to get 50% off. Okay, before we move on here, we know that this show is a source of entertainment and fun, and we designed this show to be a break for all of us as we cover really serious, hard topics on all of our other shows. And we want this to be a fun place for all of you who deal with stress and trauma in the real world to be able to come here and talk about things like reality TV and play games and have some LOLs. And You know, we are going to do more of that today. We do have a really fun game, but we wanted to take some time to share our thoughts about what is going on right now in the Middle East. It's um, extremely difficult to talk about, to process. This last week has been so hard for, you know, I'm sure most of you out there who have been following this. And, you know, there's really no way to put it into words how horrific this all is. I'm not Jewish, I'm not Palestinian, but I am a parent and seeing these videos coming out are, it's hard for me to even put into words um, just how um, mind-blowingly horrific what is going on right now. I'm sure many of you have seen um, really, really difficult videos, just these interviews with people who are going through this um, video clips of people standing in the rubble, um, people talking about, God, I saw a video just yesterday of this father whose child was taken hostage and he got word that she was killed. And he said that he was, he was happy and celebrating it because he said her being alive and being held hostage is so much worse. Um, These videos of children, babies covered in blood, crying out um i mean some of it is so horrific i probably can't even say it here and i don't want to disturb any of you who are probably very triggered by all of this but it's just the pain that people are going through right now innocent civilians um it is just beyond comprehension it is so so horrific and um i think i speak for all of us when i say that You know, we stand with all of the innocent civilians, all the innocent Israelis, all the innocent Palestinians who are suffering, have suffered for years and years and years. It's just incredibly scary. I think everyone, as hard as it is to watch this stuff or to try and educate yourself about it, it's extremely important to do because this really could develop into something that directly affects all of us. And the amount of people who have lost their lives and are suffering and don't have access to food and water and basic necessities, electricity, who are living there scared right now, um, they sh- they should really be in your thoughts. Um, I don't, I just can't even, I can't imagine. I feel so, so very fortunate to be able to hold my child right now, you know, put her in her crib at night and not have any thoughts of what if my house is bombed tonight or raided and my child is taken hostage or, or murdered. Yep. Sorry, I really, I cannot, I don't know how these people are. Ugh. It's so horrible. <sighs> it's shocking to think that this type of violence is happening on the same planet that we're living in today. And, you know, yeah. like Kendall said, the past week I've really just reflected on how insanely privileged we are Mm -hmm. to Mm -hmm. live the life that we do and and have the safety that we do. 
And obviously, America's not perfect, but mm-hmm. I'm I just cannot believe that there are things happening in this world right now that are just so horrific, so violent, so heartbreaking. Um, you know, no one who is no civilian, no no innocent bystander deserves to be treated the way that these people are um, mm-hmm. in the Middle East. And it is just, it's horrific. I mean, there's really like no other way to say it. Mm-hmm. it and is. we didn't feel that it would be appropriate to just, you know, come on here and not talk about it, not at least, you know, touch on it. Our hearts truly go out to everyone out there listening who has been directly affected by this or has been traumatized by seeing all of this and is is currently scared and you know we we have the same feelings as you that this is um very traumatic to see and very very scary but i think it's important that we step up and and try to follow it as much as we can it's the least we can do for you know the people who are living this who are this is their reality they're in their apartments in their houses and hearing explosions outside they are seeing their family members dragged away or, or murdered right in front of them. It's it's something that many of us cannot even imagine because we will never have to hopefully be in a situation like that. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, it's just, it's really hard to put into words how, how horrific it is. Um, we are linking some resources that we have chosen a few that, you know, help people on both sides. Um, one of those doctors without borders is fantastic and really doing a lot of amazing work as well as save the children. Um, and if you are able to in a place to donate, we encourage you to do so. Um, and, you know, try to try to just stay educated throughout this because it's certainly not going to end anytime soon. It's probably going to get much, much worse. And obviously, you know, neither of us have the answers. No. Um, we don't have the the military knowledge to know what how to how to deal with this is there a way um but yeah we're just we're thinking of all all of those whose life have been permanently altered by this and who are suffering you know the greatest losses that a human can go through yeah so we just kind of want to touch on that and like i said like kendall said there'll be links below if you choose Mm -hmm. um to donate and yeah i guess just keep the world in your thoughts and your prayers if that's what you do yeah Uh, because i think a lot of people really need it in this time Mm -hmm. but on the topic of the middle east as well we need to talk about george santos oh boy uh quite a display from georgie porgy putting lies it's been a while since we've talked about george it has but george is back Mm -hmm. on his bullshit yep Let's um, start off, though, to actually October 10th. He was served a 23-count indictment, which replaced the one that was filed back in May when he pled not guilty to 13 federal charges. 13. And if you forgot what George is being charged with. Yeah, give us a rundown of the lies. He lied about his mom being in 9-11. He stole puppies and his friend's very expensive scarf. Remember the scarf ordeal? Oh, yeah. Of mm-hmm. course I remember the stole scarf. Stole money raised to save a dying dog's life. Lied about playing volleyball in college and has now been charged with all kinds of federal charges. And that doesn't even cover it. He also lied about um members starting his business when he was, he said. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he would have had to have been like 11 or something when he started yes. his, his business. Mm-hmm. And yeah, he's he's a, yep, the dog thing was he, he had st- stolen dogs from a, stolen a breeder from an Amish which, mill. but then sold them for profit yeah so now the indictment is accusing george and his former treasurer nancy marks with falsely reporting to the fec that their family members made large financial c- contributions and just something to note back in january nancy actually told the fec in a filing that she had resigned as george's campaign treasurer she can't handle him anymore so on thursday october 5th Uh, Nancy pled guilty to a fraud conspiracy charge and implicated George in a scheme to embellish his campaign finance reports. And now Nancy Marks has had her share of scandals and indiscrepancies. She's been working with George from the beginning of his 2020 campaign through his 2022 election. Not only did Nancy offer clients bookkeeping, but she also offered printing and uh, consulting services all out of a converted garage at her home in New York. (laughs) Beautiful. Mm. 
Okay. She also managed the finances of numerous conservative groups, a national organization that funds school board candidates uh, who aim to restrict free expression of gender. Love that. And teaching about the history of racism in America. Earlier this year, the New York Times reported allegations that she helped broker the sale of a ballot line and claims she had embezzled money from a client, although she was never charged. And her sentencing is set for April of 2024. So George's finances began to attract scrutiny after numerous things that didn't really line up. Things that wouldn't make any sense. One of the strangest was the appearance of dozens of expenses for just $199.99, $199.99, which is just a penny below the threshold at which receipts are required. Ah, interesting how that works. Uh huh. They're made out to anonymous. Of course. They cont- <laughs> the campaign continued to spend money without um, disclosing where it went. And there was more than 365000 in unexplained campaign expenses. <laughs> My Big God. Big slay for George. Prosecutors said that false reports made it seem as if George's campaign had raised at least 250000 from outside donors in a single quarter, which is the threshold to qualify for financial and logistical support from the Republican Party. He's also uh, accused of telling the FEC that he loaned $500,000 to his campaign when he had nowhere near of that amount of money. He had only had $8,000 in his bank account. Oh, big whoopsie. Nancy knew this loan hadn't been made and admitted to making the reports of false donations. These two are scheming together, baby. Oh, yeah. Nancy and George. <laughs> uh, the loan was supposed to make George seem wealthier than he was and trick Republican <laughs> officials into throwing this report behind him. Ah, uh, hmm. Sounds like someone else I, I know. was just about to say that. Hmm. Wonder who that is. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> per the indictment, George is also accused of stealing the identities of his own donors and charging over $44,000 using their credit cards without their authorization. Boy, George has some balls. In one instance, he allegedly charged twelve grand to one of the credit cards and transferred the majority of the funds into his own personal bank account. Well, how else is he going to afford those scarves? He's like, he's been having to steal them. <laughs> embarrassing poor george in another instance he allegedly swiped the credit card information of one of his contributors who had already donated five thousand eight hundred dollars to the campaign to give himself an additional fifteen thousand eight hundred in payments nice let me just add a one to that one yeah yeah exactly (laughs) uh it was a mistake oops sorry In a statement, U.S. Attorney um, Breon Peace said, quote, as alleged, Santos is charged with stealing people's identities and making charges on his own donors credit cards without their authorization, lying to the FEC and and by extension, the public about the financial state of his campaign. George, George, George. Motherfucking George, man. The credit card scheme started in December of 2021, shortly after George failed to qualify for a Republican program that would have provided financial and logistical support to his second congressional campaign. After the two-hour Republican conference at the U.S. Capitol on October 11th, George told reporters that he has no idea what's going on. so confused. He's like, what? He's like, what just happened to me? I have no idea. Let's let's take a look. It's like that fucking meme, Trump. Oh, I have no idea. You're telling me this for the first time. (laughs) I didn't know that. I just, uh, you're telling me now for the first time. And with the music in the back and blue jean, baby. <laughs> that's uh, real, too. Did you know that's not a TikTok edit? That was really stop. what was playing. And do you know what news he was getting? What? That Ruth Bader Ginsburg died. Oh, uh, I don't know. He's, He's like, like for the first time. I think, yeah, I think that's what it was about. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Unless I'm getting oh, my boy. memes confused here, but yeah, I'm pretty sure. Comment. I was. I did not have access to my phone. I, have no the- I did not have access. <laughs> he looks so frazzled, man. His phone's in his hand. No, I will not. Excuse me. You will not. They said that you stole people's identities. Did you steal people's identities? He's like, bitch. All I stole was a scarf. It's a puppies. What do you have to say? I will not. I have no comment. I was in conference like everyone else without my phone, so I have nothing to talk about. I need to take a look at my phone. He says, I have nothing to say. Uh, I did not. That is no. Are you okay, sir? Someone fell. Someone I shot. Are you okay, sir? Anyway. Moving on. You use their credit cards to reward yourself. That's the allegation. No. Uh, no. Oh, no donuts this time. No cupcakes. He should have brought some dunks. The rainbow cupcakes. Yes. Well, remember he brought a box of Dunkin' Donuts too? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. 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 
Oh, George. Oh, George. It's such a shame, really. Is he the first openly gay senator on the Republican, Republican. side? He is. What a fucking shame. What a fucking shame. Really, way to come out and represent. <laughs> it's it's really disappointing. Supposedly, he is still refusing to resign and insists on running for re-election next year. Mm, Big love the denial. <laughs> Just ain't nothing stopping this ain't train. Ain't nothing okay? stopping it. He'll be in court, though, uh, in a few weeks on October 27th. Oh, so we're going to talk about George some more. Mm -hmm. George is like one of our favorite guys. Oh, to talk it really about. is. So ah. we read about this. And then like, what was it? A day later, this golden ticket comes out. Yep. This was. Whew. Okay. Let's, this is let's take a look. Absurd. So he he's at the Longworth House office building. And he's he has an encounter with someone who is asking him about what's going on in the Middle East. And first off, he's holding this baby. A two-month-old baby. <laughs> and who's, whose baby is it? Isn't it someone's... Well, it's not been confirmed, but somebody it's still a mystery. said... It's a mystery baby. Somebody said that it was like one of his staffer's <laughs> babies, but no reason why he was holding the baby mm -hmm. and walking through the halls of this... With the reporters and stuff. Yeah. If that was my baby, I'd be like, hell no, you're not taking it out of the office. Like, what are you doing with my baby? And apparently someone asked, like, is this your baby? And he said, not yet. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> what is that? What the fuck? Not yet. I will be planning to steal this baby. <laughs> He's stealing everything else. Yeah, <laughs> that is the weirdest thing. And what is there like an adoption going on? What is the mystery baby? I wonder if more will come out about. I said baby. want to know. As well. I looked last night. And I couldn't find any. I literally I was searching for the for the mystery baby, and there's. Can we nothing see a picture yet. of him with the baby again? You can just you can only like see his little head. What the fuck? <laughs> a two month old baby. That that baby should not be there. That's all I'm gonna say. <sighs> Very okay, so he has this interaction. This uh, man, his name is Shabed Singh, and he is a Jewish American. And he's asking George about what's going on in the Middle East. He's particularly critical of um, Israeli policies. And so he asks him about the massive bombings of civilians. And George has a full meltdown. It is yeah. the most unprofessional thing I have seen in a long ass time. Yeah, let's see this. Good. I like uh, how the janitor is just watching. He's like, I don't get paid enough for this bullshit. Our politicians here in America, ladies and gentlemen. So first he asked um, Speaker Kevin McCarthy and Kevin McCarthy didn't have a whole lot to say. So yeah, he went to George. Of course. Kev, Kev's had a rough time lately. Let's let's watch him talk to Kev too. Yeah. Why is Kev there? I don't know. Okay. I'm packing up his shit. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Situation Israel-Palestine. What are you doing to stop the genocide by the Israeli army and Palestinian civilians? I'm supporting Israel. And why are you continuing to support American funding of the other side? Oh, he's a good man, a good member of civilians here uh, for murder. Why are you continuing Hamas, to do it? Hamas has done a pretty good job of murdering folks. The death toll of, of Israeli uh, attacks have already surpassed anything done by Hamas. What are you doing to stop Israeli genocide? Do not use Jewish pain to justify this unjust war. What are you doing to stop? What are you doing to stop the ongoing killing of civilians with the support of our government? I'd like you to tell the U.S. government to call for a ceasefire immediately. You think, you think Hamas would honor that? I think you damn know that you that we can do that, and we have that power, sir. We have that power. So McCarthy didn't have a lot to say, so he went to George. Um, then George went ahead and stormed out. Let's take a look at that. No baby in his arms this time. Right. And the next time he tries to accost me with the child in my hand, I want him out of here. He's an animal. I am holding a child. He is a fucking terrorist sympathizer. 
who? You can go look at the video. The gentleman back there is a terrorist sympathizer that has no business in this building. What is happening in Israel is abhorrent. What is happening to the people of Israel should not be defended. Nobody defending Hamas has any business in this building, whether you're elected, whether you're a civilian. Pretty wild shit. <sighs> anyway, everything's a mess. Everything's a mess. Let's... I still want to know whose baby that is. Me too. And I, m more than that, I want to know why he thinks it's going to be his. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I was not yet. <laughs> Very I'm gonna, let confusing. me just Google and make sure nothing randomly came out. And it could. Be maybe we'll know the identity of the baby before this episode drops. We do record on Mondays. True. Let's see. I'm looking and I'm filtering the last 24 hours. No baby news? Why is it going to be yours, George? Is Maybe he planning on adopting or like going to be the godparent? Yeah, he literally said, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Pending what? If George said that about my baby, I'd be running. I'd be yeah. so scared. Yeah. Very weird. Baby should not be there. That's, that's, that's it. So just last week, I was looking for a new doctor and I had something I wanted to get checked out quickly and couldn't get into my normal doctor because they book so far out. So I decided to get on ZocDoc, the trusty ZocDoc app that I've used so many times. And I found a doctor who had great reviews and was available in like 48 hours. So I took it. I took the appointment and had such a great experience. I think she's going to be my new general practitioner. She helped me with a wide variety of issues and... It was a great experience. So ZocDoc for the win once again. We all know that feeling when you find the thing that you've been searching for on the internet after spending hours in research, reading thousands of reviews, you find it. This thing, whatever it is, it checks all your boxes and it has five stars. Oh, and it arrives in just 48 hours. So why is it that we can get the most random, wonderfully reviewed thing from around the world in just two days? But if you wanna see a good doctor, it can take forever to get an appointment. Not to mention, how do you know if they're even good? That's where ZocDoc comes in handy. ZocDoc is a free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments online. We're talking about booking appointments with thousands of top-rated patient-reviewed doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance, are located near you, and treat almost every condition you're searching for. So go to ZocDoc.com sesh and download the ZocDoc app for free, then find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's ZocDoc, Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash sesh. ZocDoc.com slash sesh. Well, anyway, I think we need to wrap up the show. We've been into some heavy stuff now. Let's let's have some fun. We know you guys want the fun and the laughs. So we are playing one of our favorite games today. Sydney, I forget the name of the game. Can you finish the lyric? Yes. Woo! Finish the lyric game. Who won last time? I can't remember. Yeah, I think you did. Did yeah. I? I think I'm quite positive. Yeah. And I won last week. Mm -mm -mm. You're going to cream me again. As I'm going to cream you. But this week is different than our last time we played this because we have punishments. We do. Um, yes. We don't know what the punishments are. They're having to do with eating things, but apparently it's not like spicy things. It's disgusting things. Well, um, our last punishment was to drink our least favorite flavor of <laughs> Starbucks. And that Starbucks. wasn't even that bad. Yeah. So Janelle told them to take it up a level like, this week. I want it to be we disgusting. We want to be punished. I want to be punished. Well, we didn't want to be too mean to you guys. You know what I mean? Like, you want to like, We you deserve know, it. We still love you. But we need to do it for the views. True. <laughs> That's right. Okay, for real. All right. All right. I'm excited. I love this game. It's and you guys have a Lazy Susan, right? To put all of our punishments on. Beautiful. Did I already tell my Lazy Susan a fact on this show? Hit us with this fact. I knew this was going to come. Didn't I already say it, though? I feel like I already shared this on the show. Uh, when I was in DC, yeah, I learned that it was wasn't it Thomas Jefferson? It was Thomas Jefferson. He created the Lazy Susan and the Dumb Waiter, and he apparently liked offensive names for things. The Lazy Susan, the Dumb Waiter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is a this is a thanks to Thomas Jeff. We have our Lazy Sue. Lazy Sue, I love a good Lazy Sue. Do you have a Lazy Sue? No, I do. What I, what I use it for? I don't know. We have one in our cabinet. And I have one on the, the table. I put all my like salts and honeys and things on that. Okay. Tea. I'm just like spinning oh things. Oh my God. This mystery meat in front of me is really not looking. Oh my God, you guys. This is going to be brutal. You guys said. You guys said nasty. We were nasty. Oh, it Wait, smells. What is in the Oreos? Don't worry about it. <laughs> so these are all the nasty. They're all nasty. Yep. Can you tell then, us what they are or no? 
No. Well, Ew. if you want me. Well, yeah, I can I tell you. Should, Some I of these look like know. cat food, guys. You know that's my thing I don't <laughs> like. <laughs> it's cat food. This is disgusting. Okay. But so, there is a, like, when if the winner gets a very yummy treat. Oh. Yes. I feel okay. like maybe we shouldn't tell you. I feel so like we just get should. it. How do we we spin? And then the one that ends up in front of us is what we get. Yes. Yep. And so it's still in play. The yes. other person can get it too. Yes. The same item. Because there's yep. more there's more questions than there are. So you might get the same thing twice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh and you just have God. to at least take a little bite. Are we allowed to know what the things are? Yeah, tell us what they are. I think that'll be good okay. for people too to know. So in front of you guys, we have hit us with this first. I'll hold we it. We have some Oreos um with mayo. Mm, that Ew. sounds kind of good. Ew, what? <laughs> I'm not even lie. A little sweet and salty. Okay. All right. We yeah. have some uh, quote unquote mashed potatoes and gravy. Oh, no, no, no. I hate that. Just normal. I was going to say, this looks good. It looks like a sweet potato like, casserole. That looks like a sundae to me. What's in it? Um, it is um, a marshmallow fluff and mushroom gravy. Mm, that's not too bad. That's, that's not too bad. I'd be okay with that one. Okay. I'd be okay with these two so far. These look like they get progressively worse. <laughs> Okay, what's this? There we have some tomato it, um, covered sardines. Oh, you had to bring the sardines out? <laughs> yeah, it does. It's quite. No, big. I've never even had a sardine. Neither have I. Oh then my God, some, I'm going to have to do good at this. Some oysters. No, Ooh, Janelle likes that. I love oysters. That's not fair. Janelle loves oysters. But maybe not from a can. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> dude. Oh. Hey, and we got this? some uh, pepper tofurkey. Ew, dude, tofu turkey is nasty. Uh, okay, that one's not that bad, though. And then what's this one? That one is uh, collard greens with um, cheese seasoning. Mm. Kendall would like this. It's like, it looks like baby food spinach. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you guys... Let's let's jump in then, okay? All right, I'm, so I'm getting too anxious looking at all this crap. And hit us with the rules out. again and what how the rules and regulations again. Let's say I start. I pick a category... Yep. And then we have a Jeopardy uh, board. Perfect. Right here. So you're going to tell us. So you will let us know which uh, genre. Okay. The number system, it doesn't, it, we couldn't change the number system. So okay. 100 points isn't harder than a 500. Okay. So they're all there. They've all just been randomized. It's time to play. Can you finish the lyric? Woo. Let's go. Who is heads? Who's tails? I'll be heads again. I'll be tails. Whatever. Heads. Woo! I go first. Yes. Ed's always win. And she's and you're saying that the numbers don't mean anything? No, like 100 isn't more, isn't harder than a 500. Isn't easier? Is yes. That's what I meant. So they're all, okay, they're all they're, randomized. They're all randomized. We just couldn't change the point system on this. Yeah, we tried to make it all 100, but. Oh, okay. Yeah, or like even one. In it. So, but if I guess a 500 one, I will, would get 500 points. I believe I can enter in just 100. How okay. does stealing work? Okay, so for example, for example, Janelle is going to pick her choice. She's going to try. And if she can't get it, you have the option to buzz in to try and steal it. But if you do you and you get it wrong, you are required to spin the Susan as well. So you got to be really confident. Mm -hmm. Okay. This smells so bad. Mm -hmm. I like almost want to put the candle or like some essential oil in my nose. Ew. It smells so gross. My office was awful earlier. Ugh. <laughs> no okay. wonder why Charlie jumped off. So we will use the buzzer to steal only. Correct. Yes. Okay. All right, Janelle. Ready? Okay. Hit me with 90s for 200. But I guess it's all still 100, whatever. Oh, I love when Curly sings to me. It might seem like a crush, but Ooh. it doesn't mean that I'm serious. Oh, that's good. <laughs> um, you kind of set it off a little bit. Okay, well, it might seem like a crush, but it doesn't mean that I'm serious. Just to lose all my innocence. That is just so typically me. Oh, baby, baby. Oops, I. Did it again. Yep. No, that was not it. Well, it was all my innocence. No. Oh. Uh, senses? Yeah. It's senses. Fuck! I was going to steal it. I don't even have the chance now. Yeah, it's to lose all my senses. I was going to say senses. I know you were right there. D no, you need to spin. Oh. <laughs> this is so brutal. What? Oh, my God. 
god <laughs> oh my gosh we are so, so lucky fast. none of them <laughs> <laughs> that was insane Oh, that scared me. I thought the mashed potatoes were going to get on me. I had to spin it hard enough to get it to really go. Okay, what do I do? Let's just do a light spin. One, two, three. All right. Mashed potatoes, not too bad. <laughs> oh my God, Cindy! Are you okay? <laughs> Jesus! What did you trip on? Oh, I just ran into the lights. You slammed her head. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Wait, you hit your head? Yeah. Are I you okay? <laughs> I don't know why I didn't see it. Damn. <laughs> Janelle, are you crying? <laughs> We're off to a great start. <laughs> that was so funny. I'm sorry. I love when people fall though. That was so funny. <laughs> she is so hard. Oh my god. Wait, people could have seen that. <sighs> okay, anyways. What is this again? Mash or er, it is a uh, mushroom gravy, mush mushroom gravy, and uh, marshmallow fluff. Okay, I'm doing a good spoonful. Yeah, you are. You're brave. Mm. I think it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> you would. You're foul. Are you serious? Oh, uh, it tastes yeah. like Thanksgiving. Yeah, you know like how the marshmallow and when the, like mm -hmm. a little bit of your gravy goes onto your um sweet, sweet potato, potato casserole. casserole. No, it tastes like that. That's probably the best one. Then that's probably the best mm. one. Thank you. <laughs> Ew. Okay. okay, I will take. Um, I will do two thousands to two thousand ten for three. Really quick, are you guys deducting points or just you're just not giving them? We're just not giving them. Okay, got yeah. it. Can I get the artist name? I don't even. Five years from now, she sits at home feeding the baby. She's all alone. Ooh, oh, this is Skater Boy. Yeah. Five years from now, she sits alone. Feeding the or sits at home. She's feeding the baby. She's all alone. Turns on TV. Guess who she sees? Skater boy rocking on MTV. Is that it? That is that is correct. Calls up her friends. She, they already, already know, know. And, and they've all got tickets, tickets to see the show. <laughs> yep. Nice. Okay. Wow. That came. Good out job, of Kendall. My fifth grade brain. Okay. Yay. No food for me. Ah. <sighs> I suck. I know you're going to cream me. <laughs> I am the creamer. I know you are. Hit me with 2000 to 2010 for 200. I want to celebrate and live my life saying, hey, yo, baby, let's go. I'm not sure why I got an accent, but. I want to celebrate this and is live my life. Tao Cruz. Saying, hey, yo, baby, let's go. Oh, no. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know it either. I want to celebrate and live my life singing Ayo. Baby, let's go. Cause we gon' rock this club. We gon' go all night. We gon' light it up like it's dynamite. Cause I told you once. <laughs> now bitch, I, I told, told you twice. We gon' light it up. So I get it right? You got it right. It. <laughs> oh, wow. Good job. That was hard. Tyle Cruz. Whatever happened to Tyle Cruz? Uh, he was a one hitter. He was a one hit wonder. Tyle Cruz. I used to love that song. Good that job. Song. I throw my hands up, up in the air sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> okay. All right. Next. I will do 2010 to now for 200. Can you look inside your heart? Is there any room for me? I won't uh, have fuck, to hold I'm my fucked. breath till you till you get down on one knee, cause. I don't know even what that song is. Uh, What's you, the artist and song name? I can't give you the song name, but it's Ice Spice and someone else. Oh. Maybe she can get can you take a look in Can you take a look inside your heart? Is there any room for me? <laughs> Sorry, it's like something like that. I have like no rhythm. Me. I don't know. Can you, can, um, you, can you please give us a oh, sample? This, no, this was <laughs> Gorelli's choice. And I was like, okay. Can I just get the name of it? I won't. Does it? We can't have the name of the song. No, you have to have some lyrics. Can you take a look? <laughs> <laughs> it again? It's not going to help me to Is have there the any room song for me? name. I won't have to hold one breath to get down on one knee. Cause what's the point of crying? Is there? I give you a. I don't know it. I'm fucked. Let I don't spin. know. It. Let me just go ahead and spin. What song is that? What's Boys the point of crying? It's a, oh, a liar. 
the poison oh, the layer. layer. Okay, yeah. He doesn't see know the lyrics to this. It's nah. on TikTok all the time. I know, but I don't know the lyrics at all. I know it's that part. Well. <laughs> I always I didn't even know he sang that boy's a liar. I always thought it was just like the boy's a liar. Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. This which, is so gross. Which one did you get? The tofurkey. That's not that bad. Oh my <laughs> god. It smells like cat food, guys. You I might really puke, it. just so you know. You have to eat the strip. No like little Yep. Oh my god. Yeah, you can that counts. Jan. Don't be too there's harsh. A bi- on me. There's a bigger one in there. You want me to puke? A little bit. Can I hold my nose? Yeah. Sure. You don't have to smell them anymore. Ugh. <laughs> it's so cat foody. Really? Oh my god. Have you eaten cat food in your life? Oh, it just smells like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so gross. Really? That's so gross. Ugh. That is nasty. What was the texture? Like bologna. Ew. Yeah. The uh, fake meat people need to get better at making cold cuts that are yeah, vegan because not. vegan cold cuts are disgusting. I'm kind of like into the idea of lab grown. I feel like they could get pretty good at that. I know yeah. a lot of it's very controversial. But anyway. <clears throat> okay, okay. My turn. Yep. Hit me with the oh, 90s so- 300. I only looked. But I never touched, cause in my heart it was a picture of us holding hands, making plans. Can you give me the name, Sydney, and the artist? Yes, it is What a Girl Wants by Christina Aguilera. (laughs) That's a hard part of the song, too. Holding hands, making plans. I have no idea. I already lost. I'm just going to spin it. I don't even know that song. I don't don't know the... What a girl wants, what a girl needs. That's the only part I know. (laughs) <laughs> yeah fuck i don't i can't even steal it i don't know okay I'm spinning <sighs> ah sorry one's gone okay it's i got tofurt. oh no what is that one Ooh, sardines and tomato oh <laughs> chanel oh hell <laughs> well, no chanel. well chanel <laughs> that's it for you r.i.p that's it for me honey do you have a drink or something i got, need like the banana milk i got my water it's okay, honey. I'm adding, Um, I forgot to add 100 to Janelle's uh, baby. Oops, I did it again. Uh, okay, do not screw me over. I'm not. I'm <laughs> adding you. When... <laughs> Actually, no, I didn't get that. Yeah, you st- no. I thought you did sing it. No. The oh, first one, she didn't take right. her points. She hasn't yeah. gotten anything yet. I no, did. you got Tayo Cruz. I got Tayo oh, Cruz. Oh, she got Tayo. We okay. got light it up. Okay. Mm. Oh, my God. Delicious. It's kind of good. <laughs> You're so nasty. <laughs> He's like tuna. Ew. He's like tuna. You like tuna. I know, but it's not tuna. It's sardines in a can. <laughs> so gross. It could be a lot worse. I really pray I don't get that one, but now I'm fucking going to get it. Let me knock on all the wood. Okay, that's not good for the viewers. They don't like that. Song. Oh, right. Sorry, viewers. Um, okay. <laughs> viewers. I will take, um, mm, I will delicious. take 2000 to 2010 for four. But when I come back, you'll no, no, no. Oh, I ain't got the, the time. time. Oh, this is Rehab by Amy Winehouse. Yes. I, I always thought, thought it was, was Yes, I've bad. been bad. I've been bad. So I'm going to rehab. That's what I thought it was. Yes, I've been black. But when I come back, you'll no, no, no. no. I ain't got the time. And if my daddy thinks I'm fine, they try to make me go to rehab. And I said, no, no, no. Is that it? No, that's not it. It's not, it's not Daddy it. thinks I'm fine. Daddy thinks you're fine. It's just the last bit. Wait, wait, wait. I think I kind of want it. Okay. Then you have to buzz. Wait, I don't know if I for sure want it. <laughs> Kendall was wrong. She was wrong. Like, v- I thought it was Daddy thinks I'm fine. That's got to be another part of it. No, that's correct. Daddy. Oh, oh, I got the first part. Yeah. If my daddy thinks I'm fine. I try to make Go to rehab, but I won't go, go, go. Yes. That's it? Yes, that's mm-hmm. correct. She doesn't get that. She doesn't get that, though. No. Spin the fucking thing. No. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Really? Okay. Yes. All right. Fine. You're right. I guess it's fair. Damn. I was pretty close. You said no, no, no. But I won't go, go, go. Too bad. Uh, all right. <laughs> Fuck my life. Here we go. Fuck my life. Oh, no. What's this? That's what your is bathing this? food. You probably love that. 
Where's my spoon? What is it again? <laughs> uh, collard greens and cheese uh, <coughs> and cheese seasoning. It doesn't sound that bad. Ah, kind of, this is bringing back her childhood. Do you like it cold? Mm. As a kid? Yeah. <laughs> the nose plug doesn't do anything for me. I still taste it, I feel like. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. <sighs> is it bad? <laughs> it has like a smoky flavor that I don't like. Ew, I don't like smoky things. <laughs> No, no, no. Okay, it wasn't that bad, but... Ew. Yeah, what does that taste like? Oh, like barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. Collard greens. Oh. Ew. <laughs> barbecue. Mm. Got a pot, too. <sighs> pot, too. Disgusting. Oh, God. It smelled like... Sm it's like smoked meats or something. Ew. <laughs> okay, survived. Okay, um... I'll do 2010 to now for three hundies. That's like the best category. I like million dollar deers, deals. Where's my pen? Bitch, I'm signing. I like those Balenciagas. The, the ones, ones that, that look, look like socks. socks. <laughs> I don't know. I like million dollar deals. Where's my pen? Bitch, I'm signing. I like those Balenciagas. Balenciagas. <laughs> the ones that look like socks. I'm not gonna get this. It's Cardi B. Yeah, what song is this again? The da 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 da. I like, I like it. Oh, yeah. I like it like that. Yep. Dun, 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 dun. But I don't know what that comes off of. Like those Balenciagas, the Damn ones that it. look like socks. Do you know? No. Fuck. I'm to spin again. This is so lame. I'm gonna taste all of them. I know like what. I know one word that's in it. I just don't know the other words. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perfect. <laughs> what rhymes with socks? Cox. Could be Cox. <laughs> Is well, it though? I thought <laughs> Cardi B would be saying about Cox. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I give up. I can't do it. The ones that look like socks. I like going to the, the jeweler. jeweler. I, I put rocks all, all in my watch. watch. I, I like Texas from my exes when they, want, they want, want a second chance. Oh, that's so hard. Yeah. There's no. I knew that rocks was somewhere in there. Yeah. 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 Ye
Let's make that happen. Maybe next time. (laughs) Well, give me some time. Don't get any ideas, folks out there. No, certainly not. Certainly not. She says not me. I'm not ready. Couldn't be me. Okay. Ready? Okay. Hit me with 2000 to 2010 for 100. Beautiful girls, Sean Kingston. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was back in 99, watching watching movies movies all the time. time. Oh, Oh, when when I went went away. Oh, yeah. Oh, when I went away. It was back in 99, watches movies all the time. Oh, when I went away. Mm-hmm. Do you know this? <laughs> this was my ringtone, Boy, though. Boo, beautiful girls. That's why it'll never, never work. You Isn't there got- a, a lyric in there about suicide? Killers getting hung. What? Like, what? No. We can go to. Oh, that's another Sean Kingston song. Oh. Sean is. When. Where killers get hung. Oh, Shawty, yeah, I, I can, can take, take you there. there. Yeah, what was up with Sean and oh. his Trifling Kingston? <laughs> Sean. Sean. You way too beautiful, girls. <clears throat> That's why it'll never work. Yeah, it's kind of terrible. But Yeah, the suicidal part. What the hell's that? Yeah. Back in 99, watching, watching movies, movies all the time. time. Oh, when I went away. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, when I went away, my heart went astray. <laughs> did I get it? Damn, this is way no. harder this time. This is you guys hard. did. You listened. You took it up a level. we doing, doing my, my first, first crime, and I never, never thought that we was gonna, gonna see each other. See each other. <laughs> Dang, Dang. never would have gotten that. <sighs> Crikey. Dang. Okay, so I got hard. this one again. You know what? I kind of want to change it up and if you have to you get it double maybe you need to spin it again yeah i was gonna say if you get the same thing Mm -hmm. oh now you want to change it up yeah yeah (laughs) i think we should get the luck of the spin (laughs) yeah the fuck (laughs) this peanut gallery back here is trying to screw us (laughs) (laughs) i really want to see us eat the nasty stuff what about for the views yeah you do it for the views that's good. We like this mm, one. Delicious. I kind of feel like we'll like the Oreos too. Mm-hmm. Oh, but did you scrape out completely the filling? Yeah. Oh, it's replaced with mayonnaise. I thought it was just added. That's going to be pretty. Mm. Mayonnaise ain't You don't have bad. to eat the whole cookie. I love mayonnaise. Okay. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Is mayonnaise <laughs> an instrument? I feel like I got to tap into 80s. Let tap me go in. 80s one. Tap, tap, hundo. tap in. Remember, there's no, the difficulty doesn't matter. I need the song title and artist before I even start this because I get I need to know the song or else it's just some words. Oh, this is hard. You guys know so it's this so much harder. This Take time. On Me by Aha. Uh-huh. Oh. Take on me. Take on me. Take me on. Oh. Damn, we are good. Be gone in the old so Sorry for your ears. All right. I'll say it anyway. Today is another day to find you shying away. Oh, I'll, I'll be, be coming, coming for your loving. Love okay. <laughs> take me on. Or no, no, no. Wait, I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. Wait. Shying away. Oh, hey, Josh. I'll be coming yeah, for your love. love. Okay. Take on <laughs> me. Take on me, take me on, take me on, me on. I'll be gone. I don't even know what he's saying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did I get even close? <laughs> yes. I get, uh, yeah. I get I that. Think, oh, well, thank God. It, the Josh, last... look what they're making us eat. Yeah, you got to check this out. You, we should make him spin just because he's... Josh, will yeah, you do a little up. spin just for the fun of it? You gotta spin for just an come, item. Just cut you a little bite. Come spin. Come, come. Come on. They love when you make a little A little appearance. cameo. So he can have the spin for me. Oh, <laughs> uh, absolutely <laughs> no, not. No, I didn't get it. So I yes, don't have to did. do it. No, we, I got it. Oh, 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 right, right. So he's just having the spin for fun. So, all right, Josh, take a spin, but you lightly because they, they fly. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be flying. Just spin it. Yeah. No. Okay. okay. No. <laughs> no, just let him let him taste no. it. No, let him Here, taste I'll the spin Oreo. For you. No, let him taste the Oreo. No, he picked it. Yeah, He's gotta have fine. the real luck of the draw. No, Babe, that's... give it a good spin. Come on. Oh, and one's gone. All right, he got the Oreo fair and square that time. Just just take a little bite and put sit, on, come sit. in my camera. 
It smells like shit over here. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth? Don't you eat the whole Oreo though. Wait, we need this those. has been doctored. <laughs> yeah, it's been do- They're all bad. <laughs> Just eat it. Oh, I thought there was like one good one and the rest were bad. Yeah. Just take, take a little a bite. bite. Why does it look like this has been drooled on? Because <laughs> <laughs> you guys like lick it. the. It's. No. Ew. Just take a small bite too, because we need it. Yeah, just take, like a small bite. take a small bite. All right, go, Josh. Go. <laughs> a small little bite. <laughs> Looks like semen. <laughs> oh, I can smell it from here. It smells like mayonnaise or something. <laughs> mayonnaise and instrument. Just eat it. You have to eat the whole thing. <laughs> oh, don't don't throw up. Are you gonna throw up <laughs> over mayonnaise? Come on. It's not that bad. Is it good? You why do you have to do that with your tongue? That's really bothersome. <laughs> Dead air. That's horrible. <laughs> That's mayonnaise? Yeah. What the fuck kind of mayonnaise is that? I got the uh, I got the I got the fanciest mayonnaise King Supers had to offer. That is vile. <laughs> I never want to eat that again. Right, you want to spin again? No. Okay. I'm done with this shit. Thanks right. for coming. This we got to keep going. I've got to. We've got to call in twenty minutes. <laughs> this is scarier than lights <laughs> out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, welcome to the show. My turn. Hit me with eighties for three. The phone rings. In the middle of the night, my father yells, what you gonna do with your life? Oh, daddy, oh, you know, you're still not my wife. But girls, they <laughs> wanna have fun. Oh, girls just wanna have fun. That was good. Yes. You nailed it. <clears throat> okay. I like when you said daddy. Oh, daddy, daddy. Oh, daddy, daddy. <laughs> All right. Um, Points let, for me. Let's go. I'm gonna take that last 2000s to 2010 for 500. Damn, we have no points. <laughs> we suck. <laughs> no, I said 2000s to 2010s, but I'll take that's, this, whatever. Uh, that, that, like, that, oh, that's 2010 is, to oh, whatever. Yeah. It's fine. Sorry. Oh, I, I got can this. take myself dancing. dancing. I, I can, can hold, hold my, my own hand. Fuck, that's that new Miley Cyrus flower song. I can take myself dancing. I can, I can. hold my own hand. That was the that was the right tune. Stop talking. <laughs> You're giving her too many clues. I can take it's myself dancing. <laughs> Don't hate me in the and comments. I, I love Corelli. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to focus. <laughs> Full moon hand. Fucking. Oh, wait. I got to think of the Bruno song. <laughs> the Bruno. I got to go back to Bruno for this. Okay. So Bruno. how does Bruno do it? Should have bought you flowers. Held your hand. <laughs> Talk. To give you all my hours. When I had the, the chance. chance. Take you to everybody. It's all you wanted to do was, was dance. That. <laughs> when I was. Oh, man. That's not helping me. That's not helping at all. <laughs> I can take myself dancing. I can hold my own hand. Do, do, do. Damn, bro. What did she say? Uh, I'm fucked. That's it for me. I don't know. Do you know you wanna? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna kick myself when I hear this. I can take myself dancing. Yeah, I can hold my own hand and I can love you bet. No, and I can love me better than you can. Can love, love me better. better. I uh, can love me better, baby. Can love oh, me better. she's good. So she gets better, 500 baby. points? No, no, no. no, no it's it's, it's one, all the same. It's all 100. Oh, I see. the difficulties don't change. Okay. Oh, they don't. No. Oh, I've been playing like they do this no, whole time. No, pal. That's what we said like three times. <laughs> so does, does Things go over my Kendall head. Kendall swing? Does she? Yeah, spin? I have to spin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to spin it, honey. Oh, you get Tofurky again? No, that one. No, this one's closer to me. <laughs> Ain't no bend in the rules. <laughs> Tofurky. We need to like rearrange them. That shit is not as bad. It, at first, it kind of tastes like, oh, a flavor. And then afterwards, it gets really <laughs> gross. <laughs> I think for the last few, we're going to take <sighs> some off. I think so, too. Okay. okay. Here, I'll just take it off. What do you want me to take off? The Tofurky and the cream. Yeah, they're out. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. 
All right, my okay. turn. Your turn. Um, mm-hmm. 2010 to now, for one. Oh, hell yeah. I already know this. Can I just sing it? <laughs> Can I take it away? Yeah. Yeah. I could really use the wish right now. Wish right now. Wish right now. This one's could we easy. pretend that airplanes, airplanes in the night skies are like shooting stars? stars. So I could really use, use a wish right now. Wish right now. Remember B.O.B.? Song, wish right now. Oh, yeah. B.O.B. was like pretty good. I was into B.O.B. for a while. You know, B.O.B. is like super, con- like he's, he's a flat earther. Yeah, he is. He's very into the conspiracy. Yeah, he's a conspiracy That's kind theorist. of, yep. Okay, Bob. Go off, buddy. That was I was trying to remember me. his words. The uh, how does his part in that song go? Oh, his is I could use a I could use a thing or a genie Hero or a wish, wish to go to a place, place more simpler, simpler than this. Because after all the party and the cr- crashing and smashing, <laughs> and, all and the, the glitz and the, the fashion oh, and all the pandemonium great. and all the madness. She's like, yeah. God, he had this one song I was so into. I believe it was with Lil Wayne, maybe. Yeah. yeah. No, that's wrong. No, there's oh, something in my hair. hair. You did well, sorry. <laughs> Something's in my hair and it doesn't smell good and I don't know what happened. <laughs> probably when everything probably flew when off. Every, yeah, <laughs> there was probably a juice that would fly. <laughs> Did we catch it on film? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I got to get on a call in 20 minutes. So right. let's go. go. Um, let go. me do go. 2000, 2000 to th- 2010 for five. I don't mind spending every, every day out on your corner, corner in the pouring rain. Look for the girl with the broken smile. Ask her if she wants to stay a while. And she will be loved. Wow, that was good harmony for us. Okay, we actually did harmonize really well there. All right, let's go. Next one. (laughs) (laughs) Hades 400. (laughs) Oh, God. I know what song this is. In touch with the ground. I'm, I'm on, on the hunt. hunt. I'm after you. I smell like a sound. <laughs> I'm lost in the crowd. And I'm hungry like the wolf. Nah. Nah. That's not it, is it? Lost uh, in the crowd. Uh, that's all I have. No, 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 I think I'm wrong. Thing, Anything thing. after that? God, this song will just forever remind me of Diane Downs. Hungry. Not to, oh, her, yeah. to <gasps> put a bad spin on Diane. things. Diane. Fucking nut job. Okay, anyway. Reminds you of that movie with Amanda Bynes. Oh yeah, big fat liar. Yeah, <laughs> when he's blue in the yeah. pool, that like, was such a great scene. No, all I God, have is that I'm hungry like him. a wolf. Did I get it wrong? That was a uh, Paul Giamatti, right? He's yes, yeah. I, I think I got him. this wrong. Well, you I got that line did. right, but there is a line after that. And, uh, but I feel like I can give it to you. Like no, no, okay, no, we're not giving it. No, okay. I, I don't, I don't know the the next line. Kendall, okay. do you want to try it or no? No. Straddle the line in discord and rhyme. What in hell? Never known that. That went right over my head. All right, here we go. Spinny spins. Collard greens. You're Woo. lucky. You're lucky. This is scary. This looks disgusting. See, it's smoky. Ew. See what I mean? It's got a barbecue. I don't like it. I, don't I like hate it. the smoky flavor. It's nasty. Okay. I Ew, it tastes do... like beef jerky. <laughs> Let me get um 2010 to now. Let's just finish off that. That is sick. <sighs> I can take the heat, baby, best believe. That's the moment I shine because every romance shakes and it bends. I don't give a damn. Tell me the song. Is uh, Dua Lipa. Oh, right. Uh, Remember how I thought her name was Dua? (laughs) Dua. (laughs) That was absurd. Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. (laughs) That is Lipa though, right? Dua Lipa. Lipa. Dua Lipa. Fuck, I can't remember the the, the way (laughs) I said Lipa, so. No. Oh, I said said Lipa. I said Lipa. It's Lipa. (laughs) It's It's not Dua Dua Lipa. (laughs) Dua Lipa. (laughs) Uh, It's not Dua Lipa. (laughs) What song is this? Uh, This is uh, Dance the Night. Oh, that new one from Barbie. Can you sing it? I forgot the way it goes. Oh, I'm fucked. Dance. Dance the night away. Oh, yeah. Oh. It was written for sing Barbie, it. I'm thinking. Yeah, like, Walk sing it in the... Dance. Dance in the not way. I don't know any other part but that. I can take the heat, baby, best believe. Okay. That's the moment I shine. <laughs> baby, I can take the heat, baby, best believe. That's the oh, moment I shine. Because every room is shakes and it bends. Uh, don't give a damn. I don't know. <laughs> don't give a damn. I wait, can wait, take wait, the wait. heat, baby, best believe. That's the moment I shine. Because every moment shakes and bends. Oh, wow, wow. That's where I lose it. That part does not seem familiar to me. Watch me dance. Don't give a damn. Dance the night away. Because every shit romance shakes and it bends. Don't give a damn. 
What is it? Oh, yeah. I always said it's because every man, man shakes, shakes in their pants. <laughs> <laughs> Cause every man shakes in his pants. Cause every man shakes in his pants. I can dance. I can dance. I can dance. Watch me dance. Dance the night away. Did she get it? Close, but no. Dang! What did I miss? Uh, right. When uh, the night actually, here, no. It's right the night's here. I don't do tears, oh, yeah. baby. No chance. I, I could, could dance. I could dance. I could dance. dance. Dang. Okay. Dance. Fair and square. Watch me dance. Spin, 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 Woo! Oreo time, baby. Why do I feel like this would be good? I love mayonnaise. I think the key is getting a big bite. I think that's going to help. I do too. Because more Oreo. Not that bad. Yeah, I was gonna say it's like not you, good. I love, not good. I love mayo though. I called Sydney. Yeah. At the, I called Sydney at the Is grocery store. Oh no, you called her at the grocery store yesterday. I was like, this I was like, so listen slimy. to this. I was like, listen to this. Mayonnaise, or it was like Oreos, but mayonnaise instead. And she's like, that's Ugh. disgusting. Ugh. We're gonna do that. Ugh. Okay, that's that's pretty nasty. Is it? But like the Oreo does help. Okay. It's not the worst. I would rather have that than any of these cat food ass. <laughs> <bowls>. <laughs> disgusting you need to try the motherfucking sardines no i'm like afraid of it i need to do well on these next ones okay hit me with 90s for one what? <laughs> line like a coda with a curse i'm a freak show take the stage when i give him a game. i have no idea what that song is and i speak to you like the chorus to the verse chop another line like a coda with a curse you want the name yeah and- we need the song okay semi charmed life by third eye blind and i can speak hold on oh Cause I'm a charm kind of life, baby. Oh my god! What are you fuckers doing? Oh my god! This fucking oh me out. my god! Why do you have scissors? Stop! <laughs> oh ew! What is that? Ew! Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, oh, is that Danny? Why does he have scissors? Wait, Danny, Austin, come over here. Austin. Danny. Yes, oh, they're so all scared. here. Yeah, oh, that was Austin. Wait, <laughs> all of you need to come <laughs> to yeah, here, come, boys. Come, why do you have scissors, buddy? That's dangerous. Be scary. Come get a whiff of what we have on our table. Yeah. I'm pushing my call. This is more important. <laughs> Wait, why are you like that? Oh, dang. Whoa, that's cool. Take, a, take tra- a whiff. Yeah. Hey, pal. Hey, Stin. How's it going? You look terrible, buddy. You, did you not sleep well? <laughs> hey, guys. Well? How's it going? <laughs> you look, you can't you see look your pretty face. rough. You need some like retinoid you know, treatment. Like, need moisture. You need a facelift, yeah, pal. Ooh, yeah, looking really rough. You Nasty. want to taste it? You shouldn't. Did you take a bite of it? How Good. is it? <laughs> it's semen filled Oreo. That is. <laughs> <laughs> God, your face is bad. Disgusting. Is that a wig on top of your face? This is- no, that's sardines. We got to focus. <laughs> okay, thanks. Unless any of you guys can help us. Okay, I what think song is it. this? What, what's the name of this song? Semi Charm Live. I bet. Oh, yeah. One of these guys knows so, it. To you, like the chorus to the verse, chop into the line like a coda to, with the curse. He's fucked. Oh my <laughs> god, I'm so it. fucked. <laughs> no, I'm like fine. a big show takes the stage. Be given the games to play, she said. Oh, oh, I know it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, wait. And oh, I speak to you like a chorus to the verse, chop into the line like a coda to the curse. <laughs> Come on, like a freak show takes the stage. She gave him a we game. We gave him whatever. Wait, we give them the games it? we play. What? You were. Dr- I can't give it to you. <laughs> we, but I need like the rhythm. <clears throat> Come on, like a freak show takes the stage. We, we give, give him the games we play. She said, "Bro, I have no idea. I'm spinning. No clue. Should I try it? Do you want to try it? Uh, I don't know what you people mm-hmm. are trying to tell me. I think you know it. Okay, I'll I'll try it. Okay. Uh, give him the games we play. She said, I need something new. No, I want to, something new to get me through this. Set me trying kind of life, baby, baby. baby. But she got it wrong. You both got it wrong. Okay, great. All so right, now we both so spin. we both spin. I shouldn't have no! even have tried. What is the words? I want something sardines. else to get me through this. Okay, I'll get another Oreo bite. No, 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 no. You have to spin again. The fuck? Yes. Oh, more colored greens. Oh, dude, the sardines out. Mm, kind of good. I really want you to try those oysters. Ah! Ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're taking away collard greens. We're done with that. Yep. Oh, she's out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Her. 
oysters. So once we both tried something, it's out. Okay. Yeah. All right. We need to keep going. Okay. Ni- uh, you go, McKenna. Your turn. Okay. I will take 90s for five. Action ah! leads to a very tough road, but it also breeds creation. The, the And earthquakes are to a girl's guitar. They're just oh, another no. good vibration. I'm going to have to have something gross. Oh, this is a very bad day. Very, very sad. That's I don't know it. That's it for I me. I think I know it. Okay. I'm doing it. Oh, fuck. I think it's, and if you want these kind of things, it's Californication. No. Fuck. All and right. tidal waves couldn't save the bon world appetit. from Californication. Oh, okay, great. Go ahead. <laughs> you guys approved all yeah. the songs. Yes. Oh, no. Oh. Go ahead. This is so awful, you guys. Fuck this. I'm gonna spin between these two. Uh, I've already had so I many can't. of that. It's so <laughs> no, cat booty. It. No, it's so cat. I, don't care. <laughs> I could really vomit. It's though. good. It tastes like tuna. Oh, no. I'm telling you, it's tuna sandwich. Oh no, I'm getting really upset. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. It's tuna sandwich. Tuna I swear. sandwich. I swear it's tuna. It's so. If no, you it's had given not. Up, you know it's not. I swear. That's how I told you the first. I've had it three times. I promise you, it's tuna. It's like a tuna sandwich. I really do promise. I'm not wronging you on this. Hit it. You got this. Oh my god, I'm so you got, sad. It's literally tuna. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm speaking. You got this. Isn't it tuna? <laughs> I got the trauma. Okay, Janelle, you have to spin okay. with those two. No. That is straight. Well, I don't want to. This is like frisk fancy feast with gravy. Oh, oh, I didn't get either. Oh, it's so gross. Oh my god. You guys are just moving on already. I'm trying to recover. Oysters. Mm, oysters. I love oysters. Mm, it's kind of good. What the <laughs> hell? I wouldn't like eat it again. Ew. Actually, the aftermath is pretty bad, not gonna lie. All right. Oh, that is okay. so sick. Yeah, that one actually wasn't. The oysters wasn't. It was like okay at first, but not really after. Oh, no. We better. All right, give me be one of the 80s. 500. Hugging and a kissing. Dancing and a loving, wearing next to nothing because it's hot as an oven. What's the name of it? Love Shack. Love Hugging Shack. and a kissing, dancing and the loving, wearing next to nothing because it's hot as an oven. I don't know what's after it, though. You know? Nah. Hugging and a kissing, dancing and the loving, wearing. I love that song. As an oven. Love Shack. Real Love Shack. Love shack and love shack. B fifty twos. Nice, thank you. Oh wow, we get that. Can that count? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I I don't know. Uh, Logging in the kiss and dance. I don't know. Better spin away. I'm spinning. Do you want me to just have the Oreo because I already had that one? It's up to you. I think you should spin. I'll spin. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Well, that would have. It would have been that. Okay. Ew, this is, I don't, see, I'm not a fan of this, actually. It was okay at first, but. You would hate that. You would really be bothered by that. (laughs) Oh, no, this can't happen to me. Hey, last one. Okay. The last one. 80s for 200. What's our score? She's all right. She's all right. That girl's all right with me. Yeah. (laughs) All I know is the Cardi B version. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I can kiss it. I can run. Or that's Nicki Minaj. Oh, she's all right. The girl's all right with me. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. No. <laughs> this was so much harder, you guys. What's our score? Who's winning? Me. <gasps> uh, four to two. I'm toasted. <laughs> she's all right. That girl's all right with me. What's, so- what's the name of that song? Super Freak. Not the kind of girl you take home to your mama. Something like that. I think I'm getting confused with Brick House. <laughs> yeah, you are. No, no, you're not. That's right. Is it? Mm. Oh, man. Dang, this is just not coming it's to me. It's easier than you think it is. Mm-hmm. She's all right. She's all right. The girl's all right with me. Yeah. She's a super freak, super freak. She's super freaky. Yow. <laughs> Wait. 
literally. It's literally. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Yao is actually the lyric. <laughs> Good job, okay. Kendall. Okay. Fuck, we're tied. Oh, no. no I still oh, won. I don't have to eat the sardine or the uh, oysters. Okay. I will take that as a win for today. Woo! Kendall got three. I got three. four. Yeah. Okay. I won. Okay. Wow. I can't believe I won and I didn't have to taste the Oreo. Good job. Congratulations. Thank Fair you. and square. That was good, guys. It's been an honor playing you today. It has been an honor. And shake Bone Queef's hand, too. Bone, I love you, sweetheart. Bone didn't get to try anything. She wants to try an Oreo. I won. Well, she is the throat goat. Of course she is. Here, she's... Oh, my God, you got me a cake? She's trying to... Oh, fuck it up. Let's go. Oh, you get a cake? Oh, hell yeah. Bitch. Uncle Harry's cake? Who the fuck is Uncle Harry? This Oreo just went right through Bone (laughs) Queef's whole system (laughs) and came out the bottom. (laughs) She's got no organs. I got it. Mm, this cake looks amazing. What? Is, where's that from? Uncle Harry. Uncle who, the, Harry? who the fuck is Uncle Harry? <clears throat> he makes the best cakes. Who the fuck is Uncle Harry? <laughs> who the fuck is Uncle Harry? I brought two Nick spoons. Yet. If you, you know, can if you want to. Can share. I try? Yeah, you can try it. Oh, it's an right, ice cream thank cake. You. Mm-hmm. Yep. Where did you get it from? Soups. Kind of looks like that nasty type of frosting. Though. What soup? King, King Soupers. King. Oh. <laughs> you live here or what? <laughs> I hate that kind of frosting, though, where what? it's like whipped cream almost in it. You know, it's like tastes buttercream. I don't know what it is, but I think it's good. Mm, the ice cream is good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for playing. No, it's super playing. fun, guys. Thank that you so really much. Fun. Sorry for the, you know, for the nastiness. Nastiness. You no, it made it one. way more exciting. Put way more on the Next line. Next time, make it even nastier. No, <laughs> just about the same level, please. <laughs> we got to really gross Janelle out. I kind of think we should part. put in like a few good things though to make it even more. But if you, you lose, have to spin the, the punishment. Wheel. That's true. That's, that's true. Comment below what you think we should do. Mm. Probably a new Lazy Susan. That one's a you know more decoration. What's the crust like on this thing? I don't even have a crust. Pizzas crust. have crust. It's a cake. Pizza? Sorry. Curly, they do. <laughs> really on another planet. <laughs> I'm on another planet. <laughs> Normally, I only like the crust in cakes. Cakes and don't have frosting. a crust. Literally, what are you talking about? <laughs> you really do. In ice cream cakes, they always have a crust. They have it in the middle, the cookie part. No, it's what holds the bottom of the ice cream on. No. Yeah. I'm digging for it. Are you on crack? Hey, there's a candle over here. <laughs> Damn, they don't have a crust. There's no crust. Uncle Harry. No crust on this bitch. You're like mutilating it. This is my cake. All right, sorry. Get the here, fuck take out it of back. Here. I'm done with it. It's nasty anyway. Ew. I don't want it. Ew. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> well, we love you all. That was all. fun. Yes. We hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for hanging out with well, us. We'll see you on the next, next session. But until then, fuck. Keep it fresh. Better not like that. Yeah. Bet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bye.